What's up everybody, it's me, Carlos Lopez, and this is another episode of Rob Banana Cast. We are back after a crazy, crazy month of just cons and life and filming and big decisions we have to announce uh, because we want to focus on some stuff on our part, but you know, it's not a big group today, but we got the legit folks here and we're going to start off, you know, my, my to my left. We have here. Uh, this is Will. What up, guys? Will I am is here <laughs> in the flesh with a red cup. What's in the red cup, Will? I don't want to talk about it. It's okay. A, there is ice in there. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then to my right, yeah, it's a Juan. Everybody, aka Young Jeezy, aka smashing it up. Um, <laughs> young Jeezy. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys. So we're gonna try to make this episode short. Uh, a lot has been going on. And of course, uh, we always start out what we're playing. So, whoa, what have you been playing? I just started Black Flag yesterday. Mm, good. Sounds great. On my badass PC that I just... Upgraded? Yeah. With a badass video card? Yeah, put it this way. It has uh, kind of like a cooler intake. Kind of yeah. liquid, like, gel going through it. Okay. And it has its own, like, like dedicated fans on it. Sounds like you're building a human. Yeah, and it's, and it's, it's big as my forearm. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Damn. yeah. That's a, it's pretty ballsy. So movie. yeah, I just download it because like fuck it, I want to like you know yeah. see how 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 fast it's going. It's pretty fast. Okay. And I also got it for you know editing as well. Yeah. But um, I also started playing um, Out Outlast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. on the PC as well. Awesome. I Good finally choice. got the balls to, to to you know, continue off of the beginning because it was kind of scary. Mm-hmm. Now it's kind of. I don't know. It's, it's maybe lost, maybe because I thing, lost yeah maybe because I went through it because I was literally scared mm-hmm. <laughs> to play it because it was annoying. Like it was so scared that you're, it was kind of annoying. Mm. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. And then I'm like, all right. So literally, I did a speed run. <laughs> I, wow. I didn't finish it, but I, I'm like, I want to get this over with. Let's go, man. And then finally, hit a point. I'm like, okay, I'm not the scariest game. I'm gonna play it because I'm playing with surround sound. Oh. And that shit is like really gets you out of mm-hmm. your own mm-hmm. little reality for a minute. But um. Yeah, and then before this, I was playing Hot on Miami. I want to pass it. Like, I mean, I got abandoned that game. Yeah, you did. You got and that. Way, and you never got that. Also, I'm playing it because I keep on telling this to my head, and I told you already that I want to make a music video for it. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, and yeah, I'm just trying to get, trying to get what's gonna be the theme of it and everything. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, and then the, the thing is, two's coming out. So before, like, when I was thinking all this, I was like, it's not going to work, because oh, that game's getting old. But then... Ooh, when, so, how long Miami works? No, but I mean, 2 is coming out, so, you yeah. know, it's getting back to the public, so... Yeah. That's pretty much it. Well, uh, I've been like, playing a lot of, um... Dynasty Warriors Hyper Orochi 3. Damn. Long ass time. Yeah. It was on sale for, like, 15 bucks, and I figured if I'm going to play Hyper Warriors, I might as well get used to it. I've never played Dynasty Warrior game before. And I was kind of, like, put off by it, just like, okay, I'm just killing enemies. But after a while, when you start getting more characters, I don't know what it is. I just couldn't stop. I know it's simple. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I know that the story makes no sense. <laughs> but It never does. It never does, but it was just fun. And it was for 15 bucks. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, been playing. I finished uh, Shovel Knight. Started playing Scram Kitty and his buddy on Rails again. I got really back into Mario Kart 8. Like, I, not that I stopped, but I've been playing a lot more because I started noticing that my friends like completely surpassed me in their uh, racing levels. You know, because if you're like, uh, you start off as, at 1,000. Mm-hmm. So if you get to 2,000, right, oh cool, I doubled my score. There's people with 7,000, 7,400. And I'm like, so a lot of my friends on my list, they mm-hmm. were way ahead of me. So I just spent a lot, especially with the DLC that came out last week with the if you and if you pre-ordered the updates, which we'll talk about later, mm-hmm. you got like eight, uh, nine Yoshi colors and nine Shy Guy colors. You got the Mercedes Benz cars, the tires, and Jeez, you get the whole package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a nice little reward. So I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart Eight, and uh, I started playing a game that I've never played that my wife loved, 
but I never got around to playing it. Um, I just started playing Jack and Dexter. Mm, wow. I never played Jack and Dexter. Yeah. So uh, I started with that. Mm. So I have three of them to go through. So hopefully I can get done with that before mm. October. Okay. Real quick, we also just stopped, came from Dave and Buster's. Oh, we did. And because yeah. we're, we're at the subject of yeah. what we just played, yeah, over and we playing. actually had right, a blast sleeping. with the with with arcade games. Oh, what'd you guys play? We played a bunch, a bunch of, games, of games, only okay. because of some nice little brat at the yeah, mall, at the mall who hit pulled. the fucking um the 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 fire oh. alarm. It, it I guess it just it turns off all the breakers. Yeah. And all the games shut down. Yep. So then we're just chilling there for a minute. And the guy goes like, everybody, everybody has free play for 30 minutes. What? <laughs> so everybody started running. Every- we we're playing shooters. We we're skipping the story. Like, fuck the story. Yeah. There's some, there's some there were some parts. It was um <laughs> something squad. Like, some, some like. Four squad. Yeah, four squad. Some like rail shooter. And like, there'll be, scenes, there'll be scenes we couldn't, we couldn't skip. We're like, what the hell's going on? Who yeah, the hell is that like, guy? I don't know. <laughs> the thing is that in that game, you could pick how your character is supposed to look. Uh-huh. So my character, they called him, was it Ma- Macho Man? He was a Macho Man, like a shirtless oh, Rambo. Oh, Rambo. Dude. And I was a cowboy. <laughs> but it's funny, it's supposed to be like a serious squat thing, but it's just me and Will. Will's is a cowboy, I'm a Macho Man. It's and actually like, on the Wii as well. But, yeah. Oh, it is. It's right, on the Wii. Right. I bought it, What's but it called? it's called, um, damn, Ghost Squad. Ghost, Ghost Squad. Oh, I have yeah, that game. The game is awesome. But it doesn't give me that option. No, I no, the, no, I don't shit. think so. No, it does it? I bought it. It's just, it was the same game. Oh, okay. damn! I'm playing. Like you know, like it, and like, the cool thing is like it's it's really different from different rail games because mm-hmm. like you have to disarm bombs and so, right. Yeah, 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 hostages. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then you pick the door mm-hmm. and like I don't know. I just we, had to say that because we had we, a blast. We played, like we played an hour ago. and we played is not the funniest game we've ever said. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. What was it called? Like. Yeah, mighty dude. trucks or something like that. Yeah, because so <laughs> yeah, yeah. We saw it and we're like, it looks cool, whatever. It's pretty much a um, Mario, Kart Mario Kart with off road, uh, off road it's, like. Oh, it's high. We're high with thunder. Think of it like that. It's yeah, like, it's it's a very yeah. like over the top game. Yeah, but like it has like um, it's like pretty much um, twist and metal mm-hmm. type, but just way over the top for the arcade. And with crazy little po- like power ups and stuff, it was amazing. We 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 both together spent like fifteen bucks on it. Yeah. And plus, we kept on buying upgrades because they give you a code to save. So when you come back, I'm like, this yeah, is worth. Like, this is worth it. Number, so you can come back and. I'm like, this is worth it. And we're gonna yeah. just stay here for a cool minute. We were there for so long, and I mean, even though before that we were playing, you know, those weird three D games where you just sit. And it's like yeah, you which was moving the chair and everything. which was pretty. F- oh wait, wait, you're talking about that one? That yeah. one was in three. Dream, dream was it? it dream, was, we passed dream the whole machine. game. We were like on first and everything. But before that, I actually played this other game. Like it's it's like a forty mock, some mock fighters. There you go. Yeah, it was mock like fighters. Yeah, it's a game from from Namco. It's a it's a it has it's a three sixty television projector screen. There's a projector in the back projecting the screen, but you're in an aero fighter kind of machine. And, no, uh, you're talking about a different one. Why well, that one's awesome that's too? The one we're, we're no, I'm talking about the scary one, the oh, 4D. There's like all, air and move that checks your heart rate. Yeah, it's like pretty everything. Cool. Okay, can I just can we just point out that how great this is? We spent like four or five minutes talking about arcades. Yeah, yeah. No, look, I was, that, they're yeah. good. Yeah, that they're good. I, I was talking to uh, our music, a music composer on uh, Esteban, and he hasn't been in arcades for a while back, and he grew up with arcades. And I'm like, you see, this was they need Alliance Castle. They need a revolution of arcades because it's, it's like, dude, don't give me what I can get, one, at home, and two, on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is fucking, um, what is it, uh, Fruit Ninja yeah. Yeah. doing? What, Temple Run? Yeah. Fuck All you. All these games are like, you're, you're, like, like, you're, not, you're just not, trying. you're not trying. Wait, who's in the tr- back? Who's oh. Back? Hold up. Who, who are you? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, guys. Just hear uh, some random guy just walk up. Yeah, we use this house for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think I live here. I just reside here. Yeah. You know, so don't mind me. He those are our stump though for his upcoming um, video we're doing. For he's a he's a Wolverine stump though, so yeah, give a round of applause for that. Really he's been working yeah, really hard. Been really hitting the gym every once a month. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once every three months. And, yeah. and, and once every three months just to use the shower. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're on the you're going home, going to work. Fuck it, real quick. Come back down. I've done that. At least I hit the gym, right? Yep, that's, that's what counts. counts. It counts. Well, yeah. my thirty-seven dollars worth. <laughs> Damn. 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 This is Jared. He's one of our good friends. He's actually one of our. He's actually returning. Uh, returning. Returning writer. Yeah, for one so. of our stuff that we're gonna announce soon. So. Yeah. So. Um. 
Stay tuned. Stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. Pretty or not. Much. Or not. Or There's whatever. way better stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that Dave and Buster and I even told Will, I was like, I actually like this Dave and Buster. Which one was this? This is the one in uh, Howard, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes yeah. Center. Oh, it's brand off new. The it's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. Oh, where? Still hasn't been tainted. Um, the bridge. The bridge. Really? They call it how cute. So that's what they were building. Yeah. yeah. Now you have a purpose other than movies. Wait a minute. They have this whole new thing. That's the one where. Uh, wait, that was on the news recently. Um, on Friday, I think uh, Justin Bieber yelled at some woman. Called, <laughs> her, a, called her a bitch. At of, that, at at that, that day, because they had, I think they just opened it, so he was there oh, to party. Oh, he lost somebody. A bitch. And. Um, and then, like, some girl asked him for a phone number, or not phone number, for an autograph. And apparently, do oh, eyewitness says, he pushed her away. Get away from me, you bitch. Like, if he was drunk or whatever. Wow. But, yeah, he was there. Knock the fuck him, <laughs> knock yeah. him out. One day he's going to get the knock. Hell, yeah. Shit, yeah. Knock that one. But one day he'll get it. But we realized something today. I will. <laughs> yeah, we realized something today. We were there, like, at what, at 10 in the morning, missing church. Yeah. Carlos. Hey. And then oh and name. um we're just like, hey, they're throwing a party for some guy. And it was a kid's party. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, wait a no, minute, I just realized this. Dave and Buster's is pretty much it's for kids as well, obviously. Right. You know, the whole arcade shit. But really, the adult is making the decision, right? To put on to to Chuck E. Cheese or something. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But they were like, fuck that, Chuck E. Cheese doesn't have beer. <laughs> it doesn't have yeah. alcohol. Yeah, that's true. So it's kinda so, like fuck it, you do your dude, shit. Yeah, they did they did at one point, right? They did in the beginning really? when I was really At one point, because yeah, yeah, I remember did. going. Yeah, yeah, me too. And my aunt and uncle yeah. were... When was this? Dude, Chuck E. Cheese this was history. like in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah 90s. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. remember. Yeah. My aunt and uncle used to See? get fucked up there. They're losing the customers. I just fucked up with Chuck E. Cheese. And it, it was awesome, though, because it was my birthday. And then, you know, and like, hey, it's my birthday, and I get some money, boom. She's months. drunk. Like, just leave me, the, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> exactly. Get the hell you out of my what? face. Oh, dude. That makes sense. Remember, there was a Chuck E. Cheese, like, most the uh, the stage when they had the animatronic uh, band. There was a little cave under the stage. You paid a quarter. And somebody who listens to the show, comment on this, please, because I can't be the only one who remembers this. There was a little door. You could go in there and sit down. And if you put a quarter, like, the lights would just flash. What? To give you, like, a seizure. What I'm not making this fuck? up. It was the one that I went this to. This is Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Right? It was the one. <laughs> Where the one were you? How old were you? No, the Chuck E. Cheese Engage. That's the one out there. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, Bell, the Bell, Bell, Bell Gardens. Bell Gardens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. That's the one I went to as a kid. I went to that one too as a kid. I don't know. They took that out. They took that out and the ball pit out because of all the germs and stuff. And then, oh, they, had, yeah. then they took it. I guess they put it back in. Yeah, there was. There was a time where they took out the ball pit because of the germs, but. No, there was a little door. It was open. They did, you couldn't close it. It was just open. You could crawl in there, put a quarter in, press a button, and just lights would flash in there. To give you a seizure. Not to give you a seizure, well, but... Like a light yeah. show. Yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, but still. Yeah. <laughs> so I imagine, man, some people are getting fucked up. I would go into all this shit and just, like, fucking... Oh, damn. Yeah, you see a bunch of deals and deals. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we doing with our lives? Damn. We've had this thing for five years, look, and we have a party for it. <laughs> um... Man, but yeah, that, that David Bus is really, really fun. Yeah. Totally worth it. There's, I mean, I could tell all the kids were going for the tickets. Yep. But the cool thing about it is there's a bar literally near everyone. Like, not that far. The kids there. Go, hey, I'll be back. Don't trip. Just go get a beer and then come back. David Buster's is awesome. Go check it out. There's a cool game that me and Will spent, like, I think $10. 15 15 But how much in three games do you think you got in that half hour? Oh, man. We squeezed in like one, two, three, four, five. Five games, I think we squeezed in. Yeah. So how much? And then in that half hour, yeah. Yeah. The free ones, yeah, like five games. Like the most expensive ones were like the simulators. Like the one you're sitting somewhere Mm -hmm. and then you felt it. That was the most expensive one. Do you think a good 20 bucks in free games you got? Hell yeah. 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 We just went for the big ones. We just, oh, yeah, yeah, do that one, do that one. So. Yeah. Me and Will were like, little, oh, we did the sh- some shitty motorcycle one. Like, fuck yeah, I, sh- I wanted to get off with that one. Like, and when it was free, I was like, man. We were like little good. kids. We were like, oh, shit, let's go over here. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. <laughs> hey, that one's free. And then me and Will kept scoring on free games, like the ticket ones. Yeah. And we were like, is this just start already? And Will was like, don't put it. He's like, Will was the smart one. He's like, wait. It says you can put, you have to start already. I was like, touching it. I was like, oh, yeah, you can start. <laughs> like, fuck that really. shit. And then we were playing Wheel of Fortune for a minute, and then I was like, because he right. got like, you know, you get a clue like what it's supposed to be, yeah. and he kept on getting something around the house, right. and then I'm like, that's the subject. And then my YouTube head starts thinking, it's like, somebody already like, probably like narrowed down, what are the answers, what are the results, uh-huh. and somebody did, there's a website mm-hmm. for it, 
And I was like, hold up, Carlos, hold up. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, figure next it out. time, yeah. next time we're going to come yeah. prepared. We're all going to be on phones. Fucking, and we're gonna go, because oh, the, thing is about, the thing is about Dame Busters, their prizes are fucking worth it. They have Ninja Turtle, plushies, yeah, stuff that you actually going to want. And it's not like Chuck E. Cheese. Like, all that stuff is from night. It's like, oh, this I, got a, I got a dicer from there. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, I little dice for salsa. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I have to go to fucking Walmart. Yeah. Where well, is it? That's in the closet. <laughs> yeah, it, it broke down in the first use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious shit. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it really did. It really but did. um, wow. <laughs> but I check and she's like, okay, Ninja Turtles, give me eighteen thousand tickets. Like, fuck you, pretty much saying right. And then right there is like a thousand something. It, it just seems realistic. Like, oh shit, like yeah. I can get this, and you know. I spend money on games and prizes, and I still got a plushie. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, I bought it, but I don't know. I just feel like when they have their... I always get disappointed when I see the video game prize, because it's always, like, some outdated <clears throat> game from, like, eight years ago that you could get from the bargain bin. Yeah. No, nah, but they didn't even have that. They don't know video Okay, guys, here's Uncharted. <laughs> right? <laughs> damn, 30,000 30, tickets. Damn. Yeah, damn. 30,000 tickets on the Super Nintendo. Like, damn. Man, you could be... See, a huge can't. Super Nintendo. <laughs> damn. They yeah, must be smarter than just go and just buy out the best seller versions for all the games and then just that's true. mark it up $5 more. That's it. That's true. It'll be all right. Uh, what else have you been playing? Yeah, we all... Uh, all right. Right. I got to play the, um, the demo of Smash Brothers Wii U. Okay. And oh, the shit. 3DS. It is nice. It's like... Uh, uh, it's, it sounds like... A, you know, like a broken record but it is like taking melee and brawl mm-hmm. and putting them together uh, the, right. the, 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 it feels so satisfying when you make a smash attack when you smash it just there's mm-hmm. like a, you know that little pop when Ryu or Ken hits uh, mm-hmm. Shoryuken like you just you can almost feel like you hit it mm-hmm. that's how this feels like there's that little sound effect I, like mm-hmm. whoever's the sound designer for the game did a really good job of making all the hits satisfying the yeah. characters handle well played with Wii Fit Trainer I played with the villager. I played with all the the new ones just to kind of get a feel for it. They they played like Comic Con or uh, Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. I played there. That's yes, where I got the shirt. He named me. <laughs> yeah. That's where I got the. I beat up some uh, some teenagers for the shirt. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. That we had teenager to, was gonna win that shirt for his girlfriend, and now he's like, <laughs> I yeah. bought this. I won this for my wife. Up, no, but I I uh, had a win against a computer in Smash Run for 3ds, and mm-hmm. if you did well there, you played against three other winners on the Wii U version. Hmm. And so I played it and I won, and so uh, I just stuck with Mario, just to be clad because everybody was trying to be like Samus mm-hmm. and all the new. So like, yeah, nah, fuck yeah. it, I'm just gonna stick with what works because he has the fucking reflector cape, nice. and, and it worked. And so I got the shirt and I was like done. They yeah, played some Hyrule Warriors over there, played mm-hmm. some Mario Kart. Um, what else did I play? I didn't get a chance to play the Treasure Tracker, but they had a line. Look, it, it looks really good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's a soul disc, right? It's a soul disc. Um, but uh, yeah, it, there's apparently a lot of content on it. It's not, hmm. it's not just a mini game DLC, you know, eShop game. It's, it's a full blown that's cool. title. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I feel like it's gonna be like this generation's Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yeah, shit. you know, like how yeah, Luigi's yeah, Mansion. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, what the hell is that? Mm-hmm. You know, it's because nobody picked up Luigi. Well, not a lot of kids picked up Luigi. No, Mansion but it's too. like it's like five years, four or five years later. Like, Damn, this it, game right? is like Luigi Mansion. Too. Yeah, that was the effect. He he said he passed up about it first, then he got it. And he's like, this game is awesome. That's I did the same yeah. thing. I, I picked playing, up Star Wars Rogue the Squadron before I picked up Luigi's Mansion. I was playing. I was <laughs> playing the the second one. I didn't understand it. I, I went back to the first one, GameCube. It was awesome, and then I ran out of time and decided <laughs> to do other shit. <laughs> but uh, but they're there. They're there though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it, I think it's that's right, what this yeah. game's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Well, you been I've been playing. Um, I'm about to finish Saints Row Four, 100 percent completion, Jeez. all of everything. Played. I had, I got the DLCs really cheap when it was on sale mm-hmm. a couple months back. Um, I was telling you, well, remember we talked the last part, a couple podcasts before. I wasn't digging it that much. Yeah. And then now, since I'm at level 50, which is the max cap in the game, uh, it's really fun. It's really funny. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there is a a uh, a certain throwback. Something mm. happens in Saints Row that does like a throwback to some games. Mm. And it's really good and it's really funny. And I was dying a lot. I was like, wow, this is crazy. They just threw a curveball at me. And like, I wasn't expecting it. Um, some people already played the game. They already know what I'm talking about. But it was, it's really cool. It's really fun. I, I actually unlocked a special move that I was, that I was telling Will earlier. Once you hit level 50, it's like everything becomes unlockable. Like your super moves. Like the, because everything you unlock, you're like, oh man, I'm missing two more special powers. And you don't know what it is. So you get like a shield when you're running super fast. It looks almost Dragon Ball Z shield that happens mm. to be in front of you. Oh, cool. And then the other move you get is if you're at a high altitude, you can, um, it like stops, like kind of like 
like matrix. It just stops. A bullet time. And no, it just it just frees up in there. You just like kind of, and then a little crosshair happens. And then if you're up on top, it just kind of Superman dives down. But if you're at a really high place, you can actually blow a whole city block as an atomic bomb. Just blow anything, anything that's near you, it's dead. God damn. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I, I finished that. Oh, I finished Blood Dragon. Mm. That was awesome. I recommend everybody picking that up. It's five bucks six BLA, so it's not that bad. Um, I just got Shovel Knight, so. You're gonna enjoy the. I wanna. I, I I can feel it already. I'm like, okay, this is really NES kind of old school. Uh, I've been playing a shitload of games on Twin Galaxy. If you guys don't know, I have a show every Friday at Twin Galaxies live uh, from one to five Pacific time. So I got to beat all the Metal Slug games one through five. I'm so and I despise them all. <laughs> I do not. I, I honestly do. He's not gonna ever play. You, have, you have no idea how hard Metal Slug is. Oh, it's no. one player. Oh no! It is super. Oh, yeah. Hard. Middle Slug 3, though, is really fun. I can see why a lot of people would love Middle Slug 3. I all. love and hate Middle Slug. It's like Monopoly. Like, you start with good intentions. Like, yeah. I'm going to have fun. Yeah. And, and then it's like, five minutes it's in, you're like, annoying. fuck, why am I yeah. doing this? So. It's really annoying. And uh, this past Friday, I got to beat Super Mario World under three hours and 30 minutes. All of it. After everything. Oh, else. I want to throw out another game. I, I, will pl- I love playing, but I will never play again. South Park, long, um, South Park the game. The Stick of Truth. Oh, the Secret Truth. Yeah, beat that. Funny as fucking shit mm-hmm. that I've ever played. Lots of references, especially when yeah. it goes to Canada. Yeah. Um, but once you finish it, there's no real. There's no. Um, most games, you know, there's like okay, here's like a, you know, some extra stuff you can do after the game. Mm-hmm. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing you can do. You just kind of like okay, well, I'm, so it's like. But it was, for what it was, fucking awesome. Mm. Really, really funny. Yeah. Okay. You need to check that one out. That's one game that's on my list. I'm like, oh, I should really check that game. I'll just let you borrow the one I have. It's on for <laughs> PS3. Okay, yeah. I already yeah. have a PS3. So, so. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. I've been playing. Um, I started playing the Pokemon again because I still haven't beaten it, mm-hmm. and I feel bad. It? I haven't beaten oh, it. Oh man! And I feel that's like I got a couple months. It. Yeah, beat it. Well, well, the thing is about this game, man. Like, <laughs> once you beat it, there's really not much to do after. Well, you could continue the Pokemon collection. Is he, <laughs> even then, though, man, like... Yeah. J- Jared's at that point where he's like, I just want to play it for the story. No, I know, I know he does. I know yeah, he does. But... Jared's a crazy Pokemon fan. Like, this I'm guy just... This guy is running pretty much a, an entire financial business, and <laughs> little do they know that he's playing Pokemon <laughs> on, his, on his DS. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a data analyst administrator for... Uh, Don't you have to say... Uh, yeah, no, I said a uh, uh, company for that finances vehicle. A piece of shit company. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Someone used to work there. Disgruntled employee. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm supposed to be working, but I'm just on my DS for eight hours a day. That's cool. That's yeah. a good so, way to do it. I, I do the same thing. That's, that's, what it should, that's how it should oh, be. Between breaks. You, you being distracted is good, helping good, millions good, good, of people. Good, 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 good. <laughs> it's hard to do what you're actually teaching, but, you know. <laughs> but I, it, it's because I got spoiled with gold, man. Like oh. this uh, hard gold because yeah. there was so much to do mm. after. Yeah, Fuck, that yeah, was really fun. There was so yeah. many, even then I'm still not done, man. But it seemed like that exactly. Does it seem like that game had more shit for you to do after the game? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Than the game itself, exactly. Yeah. Even Sapphire, I'm kind of yeah. excited because there's a lot to do after Sapphire after you beat it the first time. This yeah. one was just more of like, okay, you're done, cool. Now here's the real game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but with X and Y is just like you're supposed to battle people. So, it's kind of like so all I did was play a 10 hour tutorial. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we have. Do I have the. Hold on. Good thing. Trip, trip yeah, this. Oh, no. Anybody excited about the new. Anybody's going to get the new one coming out? Oh. No, Cardo. I, I, I do. I, I'll just. I <laughs> think I'll speak for all of us because I think we talk about it. We start each year saying, nah, probably not. And then as soon as, <laughs> yeah. and then, yeah, and then as, soon as it gets close, I, I, even me, dude, I, 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 like, I'll get hyped. Because I'll feed off the hype of everybody else. And then especially working with kids, they start talking about it. Yes. They're like, feed your screw pretty much. Yeah. 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 Look, look, look at me. I, I contradicted myself. I said, nah, I'm going to play Destiny. I'm not going to play the beta. I'm not going to play. It. And I played the beta. Loved it now. And I love this shit out of the beta. And I am Everybody's like, nah, super. whatever. And now everyone's like, nah, you can't be that good. I'm like. It's good. Even Angel's like, this is really good. I'm like, I know. It's an actual MMO shooting game. It's super fun. So are we all going to play Destiny? Yes, so Carlos, PS4. tell me now. Just, yeah, just I'm gonna, PS4 I'm, I'm gonna Destiny get the bundle. PS4 Destiny Bundle. Okay. That's what I'm going for. 
That's what I'm going yeah, So my hey, is that one white? Is that the white? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the white, white one. one. Okay. That's the white one. Oh, that's the one. James. So is my holiday is pretty much just to be Destiny and then Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. Destiny though, it's gonna Those be two. really long. That's a great holiday. <laughs> and then not, Pokemon. Yeah. Not, I, not saving did. money to visit the family out of state. No. I have, fa- I have family in El Salvador who's gonna need food to eat, but <laughs> I need a PS4. All right? Damn. I'm gonna tell you guys right and now. And the PS4 will make you happy longer than food will. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But man, I imagine also being a, like a parent. Hmm? Like, if you just pay, like, the money for the games, you're there entertained for... Like, man, I can't imagine. If I had a kid who was really into Pokemon, i just have to buy him that one game. Yeah. Every really? Yeah. Just... Every, just you know what? You don't have to buy him nothing for Anthony. No. Because he likes Minecraft. Oh. So he's like, oh, yeah, just give me Minecraft. Toys or figures. He's yeah. cool with that. Damn. Mario... I don't have to do anything because he has every Mario game on the Super Nintendo thing. Like for him or for you, Carlos? Right? Oh my. For both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not really. I know some of it for Jay. <laughs> no, no, if I had a kid, I would be using. I would be using my kid, holding my kid, so I could just make trips to Toys R Us and not get <laughs> right? weird when I'm walking around the aisles. Hey, I, 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 just, hey, I, just, I, hey, I have just no shame, from... man. I do it. Wait, I have wait. no shame at all. It's funny you say that. Big bearded guy just walks in, and I'm like. Can you take me to the Transformer section? Okay, thanks. And they're like, oh, is this for your nephew, son? Uh, no, it's for me. Sure, so, sure. Not I. <laughs> You're like, are you challenging me? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's funny you say that, that you use, you're going to use your kid to go to Toys R Us, you know? Yeah. We just came from Toys R Us. Because he said... Because I was like, I got to give... Because I, I bought these badass Ninja Turtle... Uh, they call it Battle Shell version? Uh-huh. Fucking amazing. And I was like, I should get my nephew. Cause I should get my nephew. He's in Florida now. And then we went there like, nah, I'll just get it later. From Amazon, Amazon I'll buy it. And, we, and I bought something for myself. And, <laughs> I'm like, wow. and I bought something for myself because I saw the Playmates Ninja Turtles and I saw Krang. And Krang's really cool. Wait, so, what? Yeah, I got to show it to you outside. It's pretty cool. Damn. It's a Krang figure. It's really dope. It's in a little robotic thing. Dude! They're, they're the classic ones. Yeah, they're the classic yeah. ones, yeah. They're, they they brought it back. And it, it says classic, too. Yeah. Classic. I yeah. have them upstairs. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to Krang? No, not Krang. Ooh, but right. I got, I got, right. I got all. The, you I should check out on the same price. Yeah, but I don't know. Be careful because those, Dude, those, those I need are to get go Krang out. and Baxter Stockman. If they got Baxter Stockman, they don't have Baxter. Yet. Oh, I need I to get Baxter and like already. two Mousers. I love but, it. Yeah, that Krang one's really cool. My favorite. It's boss just fight. his eyes are all yellow. They're not like you can't. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, hold up, guys. Uh, we're gonna have to switch to back. Quick commercial break. Quick commercial break. word from our sponsor. What would you think of? Hello, everybody out there. This is Nigel, the greatest ape alive. I was called to do this commercial in the studio, but instead of doing all that, I'm just going to call it in. Why? Because I own half of Angry Bananas. (laughs) Anyways, if you want to follow any of our podcasts, they are now all on iTunes. So make sure you go ahead and follow us and write this below. And if you're too bloody lazy to do all that, just follow Angry Bananas on YouTube and you can listen to all of our podcasts there. Sorry, the, the mic was tripping on. I didn't record the last previous thing. That was my fault. But yeah, thank you for the commercial. Whoever did that, that was awesome. Great, great. Yeah, great I can't commercial. believe we got Pornhub as a I fucking know, know, right? Right? sponsor. You <laughs> porn, <laughs> Pornhub, everything. We got um, Quaker Oats and Spank Wire. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. Well, that's a weird combo. You said two different stories for that. <laughs> Pringles and fake text. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so everyone's, you know, we're, we're done talking about what we've been playing, but everybody really wants to know, what have we been up to? It's been kind of quiet, um, um, we got some announcement we're going to make later on, but let's get on to what we've been up to. Uh, Loot Crate, sorry guys, we, we've been really, <laughs> some things really bad came up during filming for <clears throat> a video for another YouTuber, and things, things went the way they didn't have to be planned, and, um. Pretty much. Should we just say it now that we're? I don't we're know just, why you hide this information. Just I really, I really <laughs> don't know. Like, Look, uh, no idea. What's the worst that can happen? They're here to listen, and I know. you're and you're you're not. You hey, know. Hey, I'm gonna tell them. We're gonna podcast to be so in the Wilbur, inside. <laughs> Wilbur finished editing uh, a Ganon video for Broken Pixels, and uh, we had to approve. They didn't approve the video, so we had to reshoot it. And the word reshoot. Oh man. For an editor or for anybody in general. No, for a director editor. It's yeah. like fuck it's, you. It's almost cringing, and it's almost like you're really gonna make us do this again. The same energy that we have to, you know. So this time I was the one that filmed this part, yeah. the, the this video. Um, and what was? And the main reason was because there was a steep hill. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos was like, "Well." It's hot as fuck. Mm. I don't think you want to go up there. I'm like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell. He's like, I was like, I'll handle it. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much yeah. I didn't care about the yeah. issue. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hopefully, Rogan <laughs> isn't, isn't listening, but I was pissed off. I'm yes. sorry, but we're cool. We, we just Again, had a meeting with him. Disgruntled employee. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we had a meeting with him, and um, yeah. because we want to shift towards focusing more on um, on our videos. Yeah. You know, we've been. Uh, we feel as though we've been kind of leaving the Angry Bananas YouTube page kind of um, alone. Uh, we don't have a lot to show off because we do videos for Broken Pixels, and so we, we the, wanna we wanna bring you in our reality, in our reality, who I we think, really are, who which I are. think especially our, Jerry, our guest Jerry, Jerry here, here. Yeah, as I told him before, our goal is to get our jokes, get our inside jokes, get our yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. things that are going in our head. Yeah. And Because in reality, I mean, a lot of you guys who really know us in, in physical form, or you physical see, fat form, form <laughs> that, that we are, we are some very, very creative, uh, comedic people, and uh, we feel as though we've been pushing too much of the serious video, music video stuff that yeah. it drained us completely on creating music videos. You know, it's almost like you know, as a as a film, as a director, as a producer, as anybody, you want to explore different things um, and different types of. You know, videos. You want to do something serious, something funny, something violent, and so we didn't have that really big option with Broken Pixels because we were doing videos. We for did, them. but a video, like rap, game rap, like you mm-hmm. know, music video restrictions. You know, yeah. Like, so, so we um, want to do skits in the sense. Yeah, we're gonna do skits, and we uh, we are gonna be filming just one video a month for Broken Pixels. That's yeah. been the contract, and we're not editing. I we're not editing, editing, so <laughs> we're, that was we're good. Video. Yeah, that was our main thing, and so we'll and be now focusing. Solely on Angry Banana stuff because there's so much to do, so little time. Uh, I'm I've been working on some cool projects with Giant Robot, um, something to do with USC, and I can't say what it is yet, but it's gonna be really cool. Here we um, go. <laughs> holding information once again. No, <laughs> but you know, because they're Remember, you know what a podcast is, right? It's an they'll wait. They'll it's wait. Inside too. They will wait. It's like, they'll it's have like to wait. You're welcoming to their to your house, kind of thing. They'll you know? wait. They can wait. It's like you're inviting friends over and then saying, next time, there'll be pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. see what time. There's a pizza party, but like, next time, I can't see from where. Fine. Yeah. Hey, if you want me to tell them what it is, I'll tell them. We're right. working on a game night with USC, and what that means is that we'll be bringing USC students who are up-and-coming indie developers to come, kind of like a fair. It's almost like a fair for Giant Robot game night. We're going to have a bunch of students, whatever games they're working on, and show them off to the public. That sounds it, fucking like a, amazing. Like a USC <laughs> Why would you hold that back? Yeah, exactly. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. You fucking asshole. Why would you not tell hey, me Hey, you're the that? reason why. Hey, oh, man. Yeah. You're no, the reason no, why. No, I am not, a, I'm not nobody's reason. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, so that's what, that's what I'm working on. Um, also, just to let you guys know, there's going to be a game night this upcoming Saturday. It's Saturday, gonna, which day? It's September 6th okay. with the guys from TikTok Games. A uh, new Kickstarter game called The Adventures of Pip. Go look it up. It's really cool. It's a uh, side-scrolling game where you start off as a little, tiny, like, 8-bit little pixel. And as you progress through the game, you become a 16-bit pixel. What? And then you get another power-up that makes you into 32 pixels. So that it goes from, that, yeah, it goes from awesome right Atari, there. Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Ah. Game. It's, uh, it's going to be playable. It's a PAX playable version of it. So huh. those who didn't go to PAX like will be able to yeah. play <laughs> this upcoming Saturday. If you want a budget. September 6th <laughs> at Giant Robot 2 Gallery. So you guys check it out there. Can we um, just make some kind of like agreement that next year we go to PAX? We made that agreement last year. Yeah, we still haven't done it. Yeah. Damn it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen until all of our things is fixed up. That's pretty yeah. much it. Um, we start a Kickstarter. Send our asses to PAX. <laughs> yeah, we'll cover pay it. our rent. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title? What the hell? Um, Relinquish my debt. That's the Who are these assholes? And then yeah. some, some of you might not know, because it's been a long time since we've done a podcast, but I have a show now on Twin Galaxies, uh, you, uh, Twitch channel. I heard it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I read about it oh, on, the, yes. on the internet. <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Thanks. Intranet. Um, no, so, hmm, I heard it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> On a side uh, note, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Piece of shit. No, no, he's he's coming up. Carlos man. was so yeah. excited. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm like, shot down, Whoa, man. Thanks, Will. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Just shoot it up. No, I'm on my fourth episode, I think. Fourth episode of the show. Uh, when I started, I was really nervous. I didn't really know what to do. Second episode, kind of putting my foot in. Mm-hmm. I didn't really know. Third one in. I kind of already knew. Fourth one, I already know how to keep up. Bet that it's, I know. It's almost, 
five hours of just straight, four hours straight, straight from just live, <laughs> live. Um, is that with the world's best arcade cabinet? Yes, is yeah. what it has every yes, it fucking does. game I've on been, it. I've been blessed. Um, right. Yeah, you have. You've been there I've been a couple times. Yeah. Um, so we got. I have a show. It's been growing, which is great. I'm seeing fans. I'm okay. seeing people from the Angry Bananas community going through. Let me just say this. All the people that are on Twin Galaxies community are fucking cool. Yes, they are. They are really cool people. Uh, I'm going to give shout outs real quick. Do Golden it. Goku 1, you know who you are. You're fucking awesome. It's a cool moderator. Scott, he's a UK guy who watches my show every Friday and we nice. talk about WWE. Awesome dudes. <laughs> he even, he even because tw- I didn't know there was a Hulkamania edition, mm-hmm. he tweeted me the picture of the Hulkamania edition and he's like, my wife got it for me. He's like, get it for the PS4 so we can play. So, I'm de- I ha- I'm pressured by a lot of people on the. You mean on the for WWE uh, uh, 2K 2K15? Yeah, yeah, I'll pick it up if you pick it up. Yeah. I think PS4, we're all picking it, yeah. if you're picking up, I'm picking it up. We're all picking it up. Yeah. 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 If you guys pick it up, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> for which system? PS4. 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 Yeah. Damn it, now I have to buy. <laughs> What's the game out? Uh, October. Thing. October. Yeah. October. Oh, perfect. Okay, then PS4. Um, Hulkamania edition. You get when you buy Hulkamania edition, you get not just Hulkamania. You get NWO. <gasps> Monday Nitro. Yes. Too sweet. New, new world order. Um, <laughs> for life. Golden That's Goku. the only way you're going to get excited for an old man. Yeah. <laughs> you hear Hulkamania yeah. and then some bullshit. So yeah, there's some, <laughs> some really great people in the community. Um, they watch every Friday. I give them props. Some people are not even here in the States. They're across the globe. Mm. So they're, they're watching it at night over there. Wow. Well, I'm here. Carlos at night. Hell yeah. yeah. Late and, hours. And, and Late shout, out after to, hours. shout out to Xander, who's the guy who controls every, all the he's shows. A, a Super guy. cool dude. Super awesome. Um, shout out to Jace Hall, too. I, I had a quick talk with him Friday. So Shout out to Moonbot. Awesome guy. Moobot. That's right. <laughs> if you don't know who Moobot, don't fuck with Moobot. He will kill you. Yeah. Shout out to Shinwolf. 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 And also make sure you check out. Shout, shout out to Sa- Sasha. She, Sasha. She, she, she Sasha Palacio. She also has a. Sasha uh, Pistachio. Twitch. That's her name. Palacio. <laughs> Pistachio. Um, make sure you. Just look her up. You'll get yeah, anything. Yeah. Uh, we will fix it. <clears throat> you can look her up on, on Twitch, I think, on their. What the fuck, gamer? Oh, WTF gamer something. That's your thing? That's No, that's the channel she's part of now. She's streaming stuff. So. She curses. I know. She <laughs> curses. Um, yeah, so I have, make sure to check it out every Friday, 1 through 5, Pacific time. Check it out. I'm playing games for fun. And we might have guests this Friday. So and if you want to be a part of it. Yeah. Hop hey, on Carlos the up. Yeah. Cell so, phone 323. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Four two eight six six two seven. But you can Damn. type in during um, as I'm playing, and we can all chat. What time people. is the show again? Uh, one, it's from one p.m. Pacific time through five p.m. Friday one to five. On Friday every one to five. How do you like that traffic from north? north yeah, north? no kidding. Actually, it's not that bad. Take the four hundred five. I'm in West LA, so I take the four. What the fuck are we talking about traffic? <laughs> I don't know. But it's good. Oh, coming back to LA is horrible. You're but. from West LA, you said. I am from West LA. <laughs> Uh, we also went to Power Morphin Con. Did you? You too? We did go. Right. That was amazing. It was Will's official him kind of not being pissed off when while well, Why is Will pissed off? Dragging me to cons. Yeah, dragging him to cons. He doesn't want to go to. I hate well, cons. I can tell what. Will needs to go to a con that he knows is not going to be mixed with a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Uh, if I tell him, hey, it's a, uh, it's a G.I. Joe uh, then convention. And he's like, oh, I already know it. I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, Power Rangers because we grew up watching it. Right. What was like hesitant in the beginning? He's like, I don't know, man. And then we went and we went with our homie Nelson, aka uh, asshole, aka <laughs> Shin Nelson. Um, go, go you probably, they probably don't even know who Nelson is, if anything. But he's a good friend of ours. He likes Power Rangers a lot. Um, and he, he's pretty cool. I, I, mean, I just want to point something out. I don't uh-huh. know if you guys know this, but doesn't Nelson look like Zordon with a lineup? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Does look, I know Nelson's going to be cracking up. I think if you look up Zordon with a lineup, you'll get <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> right, right. Just, get, look, just get Zordon, a lineup, some reggaeton, and do that. And that right there is Nelson, Nelson. With, a, Nelson. with a little KFC commercial. Yeah. How do you KFC? <laughs> I hate those commercials. Yeah. <laughs> um... So yeah, it was really cool. Um, we talked a lot of shit about everybody. Yeah, I'll be fucking straight on. <laughs> well, you said to make it make the video interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, so. letting you guys know that's a big Salvi thing. Yeah, that's the Salvi yeah. thing. We talk shit. That's how you, you entertain yourself. And Nelson kept dragging 
horrible cosplayer to take pictures with. That was fucked up. That was and really they, fucked up. And they were up. excited about I'm it. I'm putting him on blast. That was fucked that up. That was fucked up because Nelson's like, hey, hey. Literally <laughs> like come, that. Like, just screaming. He's like, hey, come here. And like, Nelson has this thing where. Like bullying them. Like, dude, he's like a he, drunk he, uncle at a yeah, Christmas he party. He's be very hey. alpha male about hey, it. Hey, come, yeah, come yeah, here. Yeah. Come here. Do that thing. Yeah, yeah, he he does thing. <laughs> no, but Nelson has this wave of coming over here where it's almost violent. You know, oh, yeah, like he said, when you know he has someone, the alpha male. Yeah, he has to be alpha. Hey, when Zordon demands your presence, you respond. <laughs> oh, by the way, there was an awesome Zordon cosplayer. Yeah. Shout out to him. He had, uh, his face was completely white. Oh, man, I'll show you the picture later. Oh, yeah. but it was it awesome. Was it's amazing. Awesome. I think, and then he won third place on the cosplay contest. Oh, he won first. No, he went third. No, no. Who, did you ask who who went first? Yeah, who went first? Oh, one first is a uh, guy from. He dressed as an enemy from Gokaiju from the new. From he's like, oh, I didn't stay. Yeah. <laughs> actually, we were actually, <laughs> actually we were at the Mega sixty four panel while we were here. They were at they were at Power Morphicon. They were at Power Morphicon. Oh, okay. They did a uh, uh, the guys did like a little little panel. It's pretty funny. Check it out. It's on Rocco's channel. Shout out to Rocco, cool dude. Um, it was really cool. They had. Uh, so uh, Bandai had a booth. That was, that was the first thing you saw was the Bandai booth. It was mm-hmm. really cool. Um, they had the Saba sword, which is the White Ranger sword. Mm-hmm. It was huge. It's man. huge. It's amazing. It's it, uh, as Gabe, who's the uh, he's the marketing guy for Bandai. He said that um, that they went ahead and they re-recorded all the audio for the guy who does wow. the voice of the White Tiger, and the machine actually is the animatronic. So yeah. it talks as you you push the button. It'll talk to you. Like, they'll ask you, like, the Ray Ranger's not present right now. So, I mean, that, they did everything all over him. And the sword's probably like this it's, big. It's no, really, a little bit bigger. I think it's like it this. Was, it was massive. It's an adult-sized yeah, yeah. toy. Like, he was saying, like, that shouldn't be bought for kids. I mean, you could buy them, but it's pretty heavy. So, I it's, it's going to run around 100 something. That was my favorite yeah. Ranger of all time. The yeah. White Ranger. And they have the Morpher from the Power Ranger movie. Yeah, the white one. The white one. Yeah. And I talked to Gabe, and he said, because we were talking about, like, you know, the movie. We are talking about, like, the new movie. Right. He said, well, we want to pump out products from the Power Ranger movie. So they're going to, it's kind of a mini announcement that they're looking at what other options they have to pump out. So keep that in mind. So if you ever see that, make sure you, that we were the first to fucking announce that shit. Because he, he, want, he says that he wants to, uh, they want to expand furthermore into the adult f- figures for, uh, you know, like adult stuff. Right. Um, like swords or, I asked him like, are we ever going to see the Red Ranger sword? Kind of still quiet about it. Because you know, I was like, I don't, he's like, I don't know, maybe. That sounds, that sounds that's like a fuck like yes. Yeah. So of course they, they are. Yeah. Oh, so man. if they do, they want to make money. So. Yeah. So if they do, because I was like, dude, it'll be so badass if you get all the original Ranger f- weapons, weapons, and make. Give me the Black are. Ranger yeah. axe. Black give, Ranger give axe. So we oh, can man. all make the super gun. Like it'll be super cool because it's super easy. And he's like, well, he's like, it could happen. I, you know. He's like, you ready to pay ninety dollars for it? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh no. They, well, they, 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 <laughs> I asked him like how the sales for the Morpher were, and he was like, well, they were more than excited because they weren't expecting that many people to buy the Morphers. It was way was more than what they were last year's thought. con. Mm-hmm. They, were, they were really excited. They were like, this is this is the best thing we've ever done, especially with the Dragon Dagger sold so well oh, yeah. that they had to reproduce more to catch up with the demand. And, and I've so, seen that thing in person. It is a gorgeous, yeah, gorgeous It's really piece. cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those guys, uh, shout out to Bandai. They were really cool people. They um, definitely, definitely cool people. I got a, a share story. I, I went to go cover the event and they did the Make a Wish um, ribbon cutting ceremony on Saturday, where they brought these five kids. You know, they were all in Power Ranger gear, mm-hmm. and they were escorted on stage by the Power Rangers, the current Power Rangers, and uh, they were given introductions. Um, I think the guy who was on Turbo Force, mm-hmm. like, was the MC, and all of a sudden, before they could cut the ribbon, the evil guys come out. You know, from the current Power Rangers, okay. they come out and we're disrupt this party, mm-hmm. and the Power Rangers feel like, oh man. Like, well, it's a good thing we have our junior rangers here. So the junior rangers went on the floor to fight the evil guys. Yeah. And they didn't punch them directly. They were just doing the motions, but the bad guys were reacting to the motions of the kids. And when they did the jump kick, the they fell. And then Streamer shot out. And the little kid, it was so nervous, didn't know what to do. And the Streamer shot out, and he was, like, so proud of himself. Like, it was the best moment. And one of the reasons why, like, my love for the Power Rangers got renewed, because of the... the how they, you know, interact mm-hmm. with the fans and what they do for the community. Then they invited press to go do a breakfast 
with uh, oh. the Power Rangers, and they got to, and they, Power Rangers cut me in line. Not Power Rangers. The actor is like, oh, we're oh, about to, to say they put the Power head. Rangers in full it, gear. Like, oh, just cut me <laughs> off. Oh, damn. You know, like Andre Blackner mm-hmm. was. He was like behind me, and he was like kind of taking pictures. And then just the Power Rangers come in. Probably like some other actors. And they just come in. They just cut in line. Hand motions and everything. Food. Eat, eat, you know, like I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. I was like, man, I'm fucking Power Rangers. You ruin like, your childhood. Ruin right? my, <laughs> ruin my <laughs> childhood. Ruin my breakfast. Like, no, but we then the cast <laughs> came in. And uh, they, they did stuff with the kids. But I gotta mention, like, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't, I was big in Power Rangers as a kid, I fell out. Um, but wh- I interviewed them again this year for Comic Con. A couple things, real quick. I, I'm sorry to take up, uh, just one no, minute. No, no. I got, this is my second year row interviewing the current cast. Uh, they're, they're fucking attractive. All yeah. of them. They're, they're yeah. in person, it's like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Mm-hmm. All of them good looking. The Red Ranger dude? The fool, like flawless, like there. Oh, I'm like, God damn it! I feel like a troll, dude. Say, like, like, God damn! I wish I could wear makeup like that. And God yeah. damn, he's gorgeous. And, and, the, and the thing is, the the guy who plays the Black Ranger. Okay. Um, he is the coolest motherfucker on the planet. Like he's all like he does a lot of uh, like free running. Really, uh, oh shit! Yeah, he's really into that shit. Yeah. Oh man. Um, but he's just really cool. And, but the girls. My God! Don't get—I love my wife. She's the most beautiful thing <laughs> yeah, on the planet. Yeah. Those girls are just gorgeous, like ridiculously gorgeous, and and they're just nice and and a gen, like genuinely cool people. We talked for twenty-two minutes, and we were talking about how the the Yellow Ranger she wants to she wishes she was on Once Upon a Time. Uh, the blue the Black Ranger says he wishes that when all this Power Ranger stuff is done that he would do an Assassin's Creed movie. Damn. That's cool. He, like he says, Damn. that's my role. That's what I want to do. Damn. Um, the other guy says he has a comedy. I'm supposed to give a shout out. He has a channel on Funny or Die. Um, forgot what the Pink Ranger says she wants to do. Oh, host a morning talk show. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, I and, can see that. and the Red Ranger, number one, curses like a fucking sailor. Damn. Awesome. Curses. He was talking about uh, Charles Bronson being naked in some movie. It's like, there's a movie where he's naked and he's bathed in blood. And he has handcuffs and he breaks out of it and he kills three guys naked. It's awesome. Like, he was talking about that. And he was saying, like, what else all done, he wants to do serious, like, like not, like, serious dramatic. He wants to play, like, a psychopath. Like, a killer. I mean, he, I was, he was good. He was like, like, I want to play that psycho killer. Does he guy. know after the whole party thing, his career is over, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> well, the <laughs> samurai, the red samurai, <laughs> the play red samurai, he's actually doing a movie with, um, uh, what was his name? The guy, Machete? Oh, uh, oh he, yeah, yeah. He's doing, he, yeah, he's doing a movie with him and the guy who did Black Dragon, right? Okay. So he's doing all right. One. <clears throat> One. <laughs> <clears throat> One. But you got to say, like, it's ni- It's a nice gig being a Power Ranger because you can always come back and yeah, do signings. And me and Will, you saw the amount of people that line up for the samurai dudes. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I honest, mean, honest to any, let's be, awesome. let's, let's be real. Those guys get laid. Yeah. Like. With the suits. With the suits. <laughs> And, um, man, like, they, they got so many fans, dude, because like, people, even the old Rangers, they were like, damn, these are guys from RPM? There was a line for them. I'm saying, yeah. dude, people, I mean, that's a no, good but see, game. that's so funny. That I just hope their career yeah. isn't destroyed. Cause yeah, yeah. Much, you know what? And I think you know? that's what I was kind of curious about. And I yeah. asked them, like, what were their, and they all seemed very really positive. And that's, they I all, mean, at the moment, and look, sometimes I feel like, you know, Actors that you know have a lot of energy, they're gonna stay positive in public and shit, but they kind of know, like, you know, I mean, look at the, the first ones, like, you know, nobody really fully made it in anything else. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw the Black Ranger, the original one from My Morphin, and some like Tia Tamara episodes, some love interest, but after that, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, but like, I don't know, I just, I hope. He also did Urkel. He was in Urko? Yeah, he was in Urko. I think that's what I'm talking about. He yeah. was in Urko. Yeah, he yeah, was Yeah, see? He was in Family Matters. Yeah. But then I'm like, I just feel like I hope they don't... I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm like, fuck, like, they're screwed. Like, no, I hope that doesn't mm-hmm. happen to them, because, man, I mean, it's a good gig. You get a lot of respect for them. Kids, they see you as fucking heroes. Yeah. But, you know, like, mm-hmm. they're fucked. But, I mean, I hope it goes well. <laughs> not not just more of, like, success for them to continue these cons, because that's still not but a good check. But you want successful outside of just being yeah. known as a party. I hope, because that doesn't happen in Japan, right? No. Just, they're well, just, like, they're In Japan, they're all J-idols. <clears throat> yeah, Japanese yeah. They're true. already... Yeah. They already it have it made. We, we, okay, we went to a couple of panels, and we, t- we we met the original Red Ranger from the Japanese version. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you a question before you say that? Yeah. 
That picture you took of him, did you pay the $25? Yeah. Okay. Jerry's piss. Yes. I pay for it, but... I, I got it. See, I wish I was there. No. I, I, did Nelson... No, you? here's the thing. Real quick. He asked me, he like, Will, should I pay to take a picture with the original Power Ranger from Japan and, you know, and get a signed signature? I'm like, in my head, I was like, fuck you. I will never pay for a signed signature. I don't care. Oh, but I don't... Know. Here, I don't analyze people that much. I, I This is super personal in me, you know? Mm-hmm. That's why I told you, don't ask for my opinion. But yeah. I knew in your eyes... That he, that he already made that yeah, decision. I mean, he, like, he just didn't go. want to hear from me. Yeah. So I'm just like, just fucking do it. And I, I told did. him, mm-hmm. and I told him because I'm like, hey, nobody's giving him a lot of attention, so that might be discouraging. Mm-hmm. So you know, be like, I think this is your chance to do it. I pretty much support him with a, with a fake uh, no, fucking I mean, opinion. No, no, I mean, I, 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 I agree <laughs> where he's coming from because it was so bad that I told Nelson, fuck that, give me that shit. He's walking by. We grabbed the oh, yeah, 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 and we yeah. stopped him, and he was kind of like. He was trying to like hesitate. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm gonna take a picture. So he smiled and we got a free picture. Hey, but guess what? Nelson still did it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Did, you he, know me- what? did he mention it to you? Not at all. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Right. Yeah. But fuck Zordon with a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, but no, like, but like no, you're into it, so it's yeah. different. See, my, my it's thing different, different is, man. My, my logic too, because sometimes mm-hmm. when I make decisions, you like want this, to support. I have to think in yeah. my head. Like I'm like, I like the Power Rangers, but when I grew up. And I got this, I, I, I'm at this age, and started watching the Japanese ones. I'm like, oh shit, it's almost like a crazy art. Like, because cause if it wasn't for them, that guy, and in that series, they saved Power Rangers. None you know? of this would be. Yep. None of this. But yeah, they, they saved it. I'm not even kidding. Like, at that moment, it was already dying. It was almost becoming like a shitty show. Mm-hmm. And then they came up, and they saved it, and now it is what it is. They're already on their, what, 37th series, mm-hmm. the Power Rangers. And so I'm like, you know what? None of these people know who we're looking or who's here or what actually this guy in the series, not just that, but the whole crew, you know? But, you know, it's kind of like, wow, if it wasn't this guy, we wouldn't have grown up with Power Rangers at all. We wouldn't have had the yeah. ability to be like, yeah, Power Rangers, you know? And um, I get it that the original Red Ranger from Power Ranger was there. There was a long line. Saint Austin, the line was, Taylor, right? yeah. was the line was ridiculous. That was one of the biggest lines. Yeah, and and then the yellow, the blue original, and the and the black, they're all together. Yeah, and the oh red, the the really yeah, yeah. Um, but not not the what's your name pink pink, pink ranger pink wasn't right? the other pink ranger was nah, there on Friday cat yeah cat was there yeah. she's hot by the way yeah she is but, but my wife's more but but I mean like yeah. I mean going back like I said like. I don't, I don't, I'm just against it. I'm just against it, but if, if like, because he told me, it was like, nah, I'm not going to get it, that's gas, that's something, I'm like, yeah, Carlos, in my no, head, but I told him, but wait, but wait, okay, wait, wait, but, stop, I, stop, but stop. I told him, money, that's everything, yeah. so if you want to take this, you respect him that much, I, I, and I, you, I, you don't see him on a daily, you know, thing, and he's from Japan, I'm like, if this is what you, just do it, man. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. It, it was, I mean, it's what he's into, yeah. I, I get it, I get it. My, my thing was this, I was a little pissed, because I was like, no one's looking at these dudes. These, yeah. Like, the real stunt dudes that were playing the Red Ranger and the Green Ranger here. Like, the, the stunt actor, the actors. Like, the actor. Like, people don't know that. Um, the suit actors. We talked him. to the promoter of the guy, and he was like, yeah, it's really hard to get any of these dudes in contact yep. because everything's so private in Japan. Yep. And they, they're they like, we were like to them, too. I mean, like, this is the first time they ever showed up. Wow. To and America. Were, and, and to were, America, dude. And they were right next to each other. They, yeah. From the American original, and, and, and they were right next to each yeah. other. And it's so. crazy. You don't think like, holy shit, these dudes came from Japan. They flew out from Japan to some fucking stinky den power morphic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to chill here. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, when you told me, oh, it's at the Pasadena convention, I'm like, oh, this is really me. small. Yeah. Is that what you're yeah. telling me? But I'm like, I mean, come on. Like, that's what DCOM was at. Developers yeah. Con. That's, that was small as fuck. Yeah, but yeah. I thought yeah. it would be like Anaheim or some shit. Yeah. Probably and, just and, huge. And honestly, we were... I mean, I, I had a good time in two days over there. I had, I had, there was, was always something to do. It was a blast. It was super cool. If you guys didn't go this year, please go 2016. Yep. It's around the time. It's, it's around the time the movie, the new movie is being released. It's going to be huge. So definitely go. Um, and they have some pretty cool exclusives if you book your, your um, tickets way in advance, like coins and all this shit. Um, only, only downfall was Tommy wasn't there. Tommy? Yeah, because he has a book. He has a contract. Even though he's a wizard. He promotes... Jason like, David Frank. There you go. Yeah, because I know his name too much because it's fucking Instagram. He posts so much hey, shit. Hey, man, I'm in the bathroom. The fucking, I'm going to from Austin, <laughs> Texas to fucking California. Hey, great time. Bye. And then again, 
Hey guys, I'm in the back. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm in the morgue. <laughs> yes, you died. <laughs> I bet this funeral sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, check out my comment. But my aunt wasn't even that close to I me. Just, Let's get the hell out of here. If I heard, in my, in, my, in my head, I just heard the DJ horn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this funeral I sucks. Mean, <laughs> that, guy is, that, guy is, that guy is awesome, but damn, man. Do we talk about game night? Anyway. Uh, for a short minute. Okay. Well, game night's coming up on Saturday. Go All I'm see. saying is, like, sometimes, you know, like, people, you get on, on Instagram or Twitter, you, you always wonder... Is, is you think it's really you know it's him you know replying I don't know Jason David Frank it's fucking him <laughs> like no, you know no, no. responding to everything I'm like dude go to bed like, dude, it's fucking nice hey guys I'm in bed <laughs> good night I'll leave the camera on like, <laughs> it's streaming it's streaming as as <laughs> he like and then like some guy somewhere in fucking Alabama like he sleeps so calm. <laughs> the yeah, I have those same bed sheets. Oh my god, we connect. We Wait, connect. This guy is close. I'll be back. <laughs> Don't stalk him. Um, so, gentlemen, should we, should we get on the news? There's so much news coming out. Yeah. Let's, Let's get Jason, to it. Of Jason David Frank? Uh, oh, Go Coyote. Jason oh. David Oh, okay. Frank. I've been hesitant to say that name, but I don't want to, don't want to, you know, I don't want to name anybody, but I'm glad you said it. Okay. Thank you. Hashtag Go Coyote. Hashtag Right. <laughs> Hashtag where's Nelson at though? <laughs> oh yeah. Hashtag on anything you think that Nelson should be there is where's Nelson at? Hashtag that. It's a fa- it's nothing but restaurants. It's ne- it, actually it's a bunch of like Power Rangers and well go look it up. It's oh, it's only me. Power Rangers. Zordon's coming. There's a bunch Nelson? of Zordon. You're Zordon. saying where he should be at? As we're pretty much saying, I'm like, tag him at the gym. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Nelson? <laughs> Pilates. Talk about Amor Trevido. There's been some uh, there's some crazy <laughs> Nintendo news this whole fucking week. Yep. Um, it's it's Nintendo's taking over. Oh my week. god, they've been taking over every fucking blog that we can think of. Um, Mario Kart 8. Yes. Juan, you are the Nintendo expert. Yes, I am. And so, what what is this Mario Kart 8 DLC that All was right. announced? So it's weird. By the way, I'm just saying, this is the first ever full-on add-on DLC from Nintendo. That's not like a hey one character. This is a yes. I will say yes. Uh, there'll be DLC items for like Animal Crossing stuff like that, but full mm-hmm. on like full on like you pay right, and you're, you're getting a package right. From t- this is the the first. I mean, there's been stuff. Oh, actually, well, Pikmin three had that. Oh, they're right. You're right. Pikmin, Pikmin three, three had stages. Long. I think that was one of the first ones. But were but there was some, it's something special because it's Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we got um, oh, God. I it's think it's not so much that it was the DLC, but what's in it. Mm-hmm. You get not only Dry Bowser, uh, or Tanuki Mario, and Cat Peach. So it's Peach mm-hmm. with cat ears. So mm-hmm. now we have three Peach versions. <laughs> Regular, pink, gold, and fucking cosplayer anime expo Peach. <laughs> and... <laughs> furry Peach. For furry Peach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like that's like anime expo after. You're furry welcome, peach. fetish yeah. cosplayers. I know. Furry um, peach. But uh, we Most get a, uh, Isabel from Animal Crossing. This is crazy. And, and the villager. So we get oh, two. That's awesome. But the big one, Link. That's random. Link is in fucking Mario Kart. Uh, people will asking for other Nintendo characters like mm-hmm. Kirby, you know, Samus th- to be involved like Captain Falcon. Like, you know, make it not just Mario Kart but Nintendo Kart. Mm-hmm. And I think if, the, which I'm assuming a lot of people already bought this, pre-ordered the bundles, mm-hmm. um, they're going to get f- uh, four new cups. Each one with four tracks. New tracks. Right? New tracks. One is going to be... Uh, from, not, re- not returning? There's a couple of returning ones. Okay. The one that they did come from was the Wario Mines from uh, Mario Kart Wii. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. But they're going to be remastered, like we've done graphics. Yeah. But they're going to be tracks based off Animal Crossing and from Hy- oh, a Link. Wow. Uh, so from Legend cool. of Zelda, uh, kind of like, you know how in Sonic Lost World they took the Zelda and yeah. they, 
very similar to this. So I'm curious which Hyrule land they're going to design the track, or it's going to be multiple. It you start off the Hyrule. It should like, be Ocarina, the the field, and just drive around like little things, like oh, here's the yeah, here's the the volcano, and then you go into the how field. dope would it be if a hazard was the moon falling on the track? Oh, that'd be cool. Like it just randomly falls in one portion. You have to guess. And the level changes. That means you've been racing for three days, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you start again. Yeah. Well, they can do it if it's three days. You can do. You have to do three laps. That's true. Hey, that'd be hey, cool. hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. that's really fun. Nintendo uh, pay royalties. Yeah, Will too. Will came up with that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get that. We'll yeah. All this is trademark uh, ideas. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we get new cars. Um, well, the four characters, four new cars. So there's going to be a total of sixteen tracks. <laughs> to add on to the 32 tracks that are already on there. That's pretty cool. And for the bundle, so for eight characters, new cars, 16 tracks is 11.99. Wait, really? For Only for, 11.99 for both bundles. Yeah, <laughs> dude, separately it's 7.99, but if you get them both, you get them for 11.99. And if you get both bundles now, or up until they, or bo- whatever time you get them, you get um, eight more colors for Yoshi and for Shy Guy. And that's on top of the free uh, three Mercedes Benz cars that are out with new tires, um, and that's free. You just have to update the game. But By the, the way, that still sounds so random. It is uh, yeah. Mercedes Benz on Mario yeah. Kart. Yeah, I, I know it's it looks it's, it's, it's product yeah. placement. We know what it is. Yeah, but fuck it. It's yeah. free cars. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You didn't pay for them. And I, yeah, that's true, yeah. And I just like the fact that I can race with a white Yoshi in a Mercedes Benz <laughs> because <laughs> if a white Yoshi's gonna race he needs status yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually gonna that, be that no big two chains <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you know what's funny when you race with the black Yoshi and you put him in the the, the, the big old Mercedes Benz <laughs> it's like wow <laughs> they, they, Nintendo's not messing around this is wrong hey Yoshi's riding dirty man <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Luigi got that <laughs> that title <laughs> yeah. another, another you know, real quick you know what that happened in the whole Luigi thing hmm. And then Anime Expo was like a week after. Yeah, there were already artists that made like posters. Really? Yeah, yeah Luigi there. It was crazy. And dude. it didn't sell well. <laughs> it was like, oh, nobody wants to buy I that. I just see that. Yeah. I just did this for the joke. Okay, I, mean, I get it, guys. It's like a quick little. Yeah. Okay, man. let's get over it. We let's love Nintendo, but not so much. Man. I'm gonna give you thirty dollars for. Yeah. Fan. And it was just like racing, like all this inky thing was going on. I was just writing dirty. I'm like, this is not hard to do. Oh, that was a real thing? Yeah, yeah. some artist. Oh, this is like some wow. douchebag. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is fucking awesome. I'm fucking buy this. Yeah, that's... Shut the fuck up, like, dude. dude. That's like a verbal joke, not yeah. something yeah. you want to, like... Take your time yeah, to exactly. do this. Exactly. Free it out posters. <laughs> Just give it um, out free and sign it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, they... Uh, you guys don't know, Professor Layton versus... Uh, uh, Ace Attorney. A- Ace Attorney is out already. Mm. Go check it out. It's a weird... I don't know who thought of it, but hey, it, it's, it works. There's it's a cool. very devoted audience to those games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huge. And also, the prices for the Nintendo Amiibos have been released, which is, where are they kept at? Twelve ninety nine. And you said that they already sold out on there are 12, pre-orders? Let's see if I... There's 12 have already been <clears throat> released. Let's see. Let's go through this. It's Mario, mm-hmm. Peach, mm-hmm. Uh, Yoshi. Yoshi, Donkey Kong, uh, Marth, yes. Wii Fit Trainer... Fox, uh, Pika Villager. Did I say Pikachu? Yet? Yep. Or Pikachu. Pikachu. No, no, Pikachu. Uh, uh, Pikachu. Link. Missing two. Kirby. Kirby and. Um. Song. God damn it. Samus. Samus. Twelve ninety nine a piece. Uh. And on Amazon, they went on pre order Friday. As of Saturday. Marth, Wefit Trainer, and the Villager are sold out. Yeah, they're not so released great. until later this year, Jeez, in November, dude. and they're already gone. Which doesn't mean they won't restock sometimes between now and November mm-hmm. to pre-order, but they're gone. And they've they're, they've been in the top twenty in all of Amazon sales since Friday, <laughs> since they went on launch. Wow. They're already in the top twenty. So I wow. I. Nintendo has a massive fucking hit on their hands. Yep. Like it's it's going to be huge. I, I every, even I was I was skeptical too. I just it's just Disney Infinity and Nintendo. But knowing Nintendo how they like to play their cards close to their chest and they don't throw everything out there because mm. they don't want to give ideas to the Skylanders people mm. and to Disney Infinity like what the figures can do. But they already announced it's going to be they announced some features for the Smash Brothers that you can put your data on it, take it to your friend's house. But it's and other than it could be used for Smash Brothers, it could be used for Mario Kart Eight, 
So uh, it could be used for Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's going to be good for the next Mario Party game that's coming out that hasn't we haven't seen really much of yet. But and then uh, it's going to work for your 3DS too, for 3D Smash. So if, for anybody who's going to be picking up Smash, which is a fucking lot of people, yep, it's pretty much a given that whoever buys Smash, they're going to pick up yeah, at gotta, least a few figures. Yeah. They're, the Marth figures are going to be... The Marth and Fox alone. If yeah. The hardcore Smash community, they're yeah, going to pick up those two figures. Yeah. And they'll, they'll pick up the other ones like Samus they'll pick up. Mm-hmm. And then... We're, and get this. They're going to have to make a Zero Suit Samus one. Mm. You, know? Look sexy. You, know, <laughs> you know? They're going to make you know <laughs> Rosalina. They're going to make... All, they're going to cover everybody. And Pit has they do, they're, they're going to make a Pit figure. Mm-hmm. They'll make Dark Pit. The pretty much the entire Smash Brothers roster oh, yeah. is going to be represented. And if, well, we'll get to it. We'll but uh, to but it. it's it's absolutely it's a it, it can't be more successful than it is now. Mm-hmm. I, then you know Nintendo's fucking happy with the numbers mm-hmm. they're seeing right now. Yeah, really, the sales increase this past weekend for Japan. This must be something. Uh, also, we just saw that we're going to have new 3ds themes for the background. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. Yeah. It's gonna be its own app on the on your Nintendo 3DS where you could go buy themes for your for your 3DS. Which theme would you like? Yeah. Buy? I, well, I don't know. I think the first ones are free. They're oh, coming out. There's a. <laughs> there, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna buy them regardless. It's just like your desktop, like yeah. yeah. You're buying digital skins, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but they're kind Those of are morons, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, care. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You buy dumb shit I'm just a that, dude. cheap fucking bastard. <laughs> Hashtag sorry. But I like I like the um, Hashtag Nintendo where you at. Nintendo <laughs> Nintendo Classic one. I do love I that. I like the Nintendo Classic one. It has a very old school Famicom kind of look to it. Too. I, yeah, I saw the Famicom one. I think that's the one we'll go with. Yeah, that one was cool. But I don't know. They haven't even said how much it's going to be, right? No, but I, I, I'm quite sure the first ones are going to be free. But you know what? It's they could they, they don't even make market more than a dollar. And it'll be super successful. And, and it should be still shaking his head like, why? Yeah, you, you guys are pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Microtransactions. Ah. All I'm saying that has, has anybody bought the Animal Crossing app, the the, the, the clock app? Oh, no. Well, see, that's kind of retarded. <laughs> you know, I don't know why you need a clock if the time's already on your 3DS. <laughs> exactly. You can open it. You know, Mar- the Mar- Mario has one too. Yeah, yeah. They're like There's five a Mario. Bucks. Yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. why five bucks for a digital a quarter. Clock? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I would have bought. No lie. If it's a physical clock, I'll yeah. Why not? Send me a physical. Clock. <laughs> Five bucks. You for... get the skin and a physical. No. One. <laughs> like, just like just like the the figures. You know, yeah. you bought the clock and you get the skin. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. it. So you other know, news. Clock. Other news came from this <laughs> Nintendo Direct from Japan, which shook the world mm-hmm. because of me and Will kind of were like, "What the? That's new." Nintendo announced the, the new 3DS right. LL. Um, Tim, I mean, we're a little bit kind of offended, confused. a little bit, a little confused, okay. a little offended, yeah. because a, it's an upgraded version of the 3DS. Mm-hmm. Of course, they added a new hardware in it. Yeah, um, that certain only certain games can be played in it, which again now we're excluded again. Mm-hmm. So that means everybody who bought a 3DS recently XL. I bought my Animal Crossing last year, mm-hmm. um, and there's a new joystick which is ridiculously small. Mm-hmm. Which is weird, um, and the fact that you can still watch 3D from any sort of side mm-hmm. is cool. But really? so the 3D is, is better in this. Really? It's better because it's not the, your that magic spot, that sweet spot. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been expanded, so yeah. now you don't have to be stuck to the very front of it. Like you could be on the side and like, still look at it. That's that still that? not worth buying. Yeah, still not, not worth buying. I mean, weird, they're yeah. pricing it at. I think I forgot how much in yen, but it's one hundred eighty dollars. No, it's one hundred and sixty. One sixty. You're getting it, aren't you? No, I'm not, I'm not no, getting it. I have two of them. No, nope, I, 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 I am jackasses. I, I, I <laughs> one. I'm come on, a, man. I, I'm against it because, again, is another example of the DSi when they had the new camera installed. Yeah. Only they said they were gonna have a couple games into it. Nothing. But you sound good. surprised. Your Nintendo's been doing this type of stuff for yeah for a long time. They've been three. Yeah. They've, they've been in threes. I, I'm, I'm in like no. Now, all I'm saying for is, sure, now, now it's all about willpower. Yeah, now that, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. Damn it. <laughs> that too. Well, well, Anthony's not getting a gift. No, no. <laughs> Daddy doesn't love Damn. you. Damn. No, no, this time I'm, I'm, I'm Bargain on, toys. I'm honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in tracing. Bargain bin. Because I want to invest. Big Lab is going to be 
full for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to invest on the Amiibo. That's what I want to invest. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm putting my money into, which is like right. uh, that's those figures. Go. I want to buy two of each to flip later. Yeah. That is my trick. That is, uh, if you're gonna pick the Amiibos, for, you know, pick up two because out of, out of state or uh, because that's series one. That's, yeah. series, that's one series one. Series one. Series two. For out of state international, what is? Flip mean. Oh, like, it means that you buy one copy to keep for yourself, and you get another one to sell, and you flip the price double. It's a really, it's a good fucked up thing. thing yeah. But if you think about it, a lot of people. That's, that's how it flows. This, and that's how it flows. flows. It'll be. I'm saying it now. So it's gonna be the toy this yeah. Christmas. Yep. Yeah, and, and, and I'll toy. tell you this: it is one of those things that you want to keep them until series three is over, until right. they're done making oh, the yeah. Just it's, like Skylanders was, which is like. All the all the first gens that they came out with were like, see, see that this is what what fucked up with Skylanders. They make too much of it. Yes, they do. And so not even series one don't even matter anymore. Yeah, the chasers are the but only see, ones that matter. But see, Amiibo and Nintendo, that's a whole different thing. You have a Nintendo figure that could be used for a bunch of future games, not just one. That's one. Two characters that you're probably never gonna see again get produced because it, knowing Nintendo, they're jackasses too when it comes to like exclusives. Yeah. So, honestly, like, yeah, you'll see like the typical Mario, Yoshi, but the ones you want to get are Villagers, Marth, Pit, shit. You don't even they don't even fucking make games for those people anymore. Yeah. Those are the ones you want to like. I'll keep these. Let, let me ask you a question. Did they confirm that on future games they'll be featured as a character? No. Or they have, they have a re- skin. <laughs> no, no, they haven't really said what it is. But yeah. I think me and Juan get a get a get a gist that it might be something to do with like either some costumes. Or maybe even a weapon. I might even them. see characters. Like, I would imagine yeah. if you're Mario, Mario Party, Party yeah, if you I have a imagine. Kirby and a Link, you could use them as characters in uh, Mario Party. Yeah. I, I, w- okay. I don't see why not. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm asking. Because it's like, it sounds too good to be true. You're buying a figure, it's twelve ninety nine. It works. It works More for than just one game. Exactly. Yeah. Future DLC? Yeah. That's unheard of. But it's like, but I'm like, what is it? They'll know, find a way to make it work. Yeah, yeah they will. They'll, they'll figure it out. It seems super but, worth it. And like, like this issue we had before that we wanted something physical. You know, rather than buying yeah. something digital, see, this like, is the perfect satis- like satisfying thing to, for us to do. See, I admit, I'm, I, I, sh- I can refrain from buying certain things, but I know my weakness. It's Nintendo. <laughs> if it's if I see Nintendo collectibles, I love it because I have that's that's my thing. Yeah. And and you know, so my wife is Disney, I'm Nintendo. So I see these Two things, the and I would, <laughs> and I would love, and I you know I have Nintendo posters in my classroom. I have figures in my classroom. And I've seen the new world of Nintendo figures that are out now in Target and Toys R Us. And a part of me wants to have them, but I feel like, why am I going to get them if the Amiibos oh, are, no. are coming out? It's crazy. Me and Wilbur saw a ginormous Mario. <laughs> yeah. At, oh, yeah. At, at Toys R Us. Yeah. 25 bucks. Right? I looked at him and was like, wait, 25 bucks? Yeah. Okay. I'm going <laughs> it's this dude. It's this if big. Anybody's strong dude, here. Fuck <laughs> Japanese Power Rangers, it's but giant tall. Mario's, we're in. <laughs> Dude, I'm it's getting this them. Right? Oh, well, these guys know my three weaknesses are Mario figures, Batman, and Transformers. Strippers. This Wait, is like what? my other <laughs> self brother. <laughs> That's dude. I'll I'll take you up there, man. Yeah. You're gonna look. You're gonna look and be like, "Why is your wife with you? <laughs> <laughs> Why my are you married? Is, yeah, my reason a poor childhood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a family income of twelve thousand under. Yep. <laughs> and going to and now fulfilling. I'm, 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 I will admit, I am a man child. I have not grown up. I'm just a kid in a grown man's We're, body. You know what? I was gonna say this earlier. <laughs> uh, and for kids who are listening, or teenagers. Be, I'm 36. Uh, I, the only difference between 36 me and the 16 or even six year old me is that I have money yeah. and, and responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, my interests, my interests, and a beard, and, 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 yeah, yeah. my interests have and not changed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that, my memories. These people can't see you. <laughs> my interests have not changed. I still love Nintendo with a passion. When the games would come out, I pure the shit out of them. I get excited. Thinking about games coming up, so even when students come in and we're I'm like we're, we watch the Smash Brothers like Nintendo Direct, we're both freaking out. So I I, I love this stuff. So with the Amiibos, yeah, I'm gonna pre-order them, yeah. and and uh, with the 3DS, the new one, yeah, I'm gonna get it too. The, and I, the reason why they're putting putting this out, and I think this might be one of the the, the logic mm-hmm. uh, for the 3DS for anybody who has a 3DS now, if they want to use the Amiibos, they have to use a separate portal mm-hmm. kind of like with Skylanders or with Disney Infinity um, to use the figures. The new ones, uh, the new 3DS will already have that technology integrated on the touchscreen. 
So you just have to place your figure on the touch screen. You don't have to use a separate portal for it. Oh. So I think for those, for, so I think for the audience who, if you already have your 3DS, and that's fine, you don't need it. I think this 3DS is going to be catered more to that younger audience, who they're going to lose that portal, or they're going to drop it. It's just for them to have it already on the go. There hasn't been any announcement that's coming to the states, though. No, it's strictly for Japan, Japan right now. Right now. Um, oh, the shoulder, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're, they're gonna, so they're gonna test it out. Yeah. Uh, the shoulder buttons are longer. They're that, more like triggers. Yeah, they're more like triggers. That's well, something. Is, I isn't was there like, an additional now? There's two. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, there's there's two. Yeah. yeah, Which is, I would admit, that's the only cool thing that I saw, and I was like, all right, that's cool. But Here, here's like the I thing: I, why is the second joystick? When, 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 when somebody mentioned me, there's a second joystick. I'm like, where is it? Yeah. I thought I was just another start button. I know. <laughs> you know? I, I, I wish it would look something closer to the circle yeah. pad on the left side. That would have been more logical. That seems pretty cheap. It that, really man. does. It seems Come like a, a big, huge shortcut. Like, it's something that you could easily miss. Yeah. It's I, like, um, but hopefully from now to... Because it's not... I don't know when it's supposed to be released. I think it's sometime within the holidays. Yeah. Like, but, holiday. I mean... But if it, it ever goes, does come... This is why I hate for Nintendo, man. It's just like they always like to cut corners. Yeah. And certain things, I'm like... Why is the Wii U doesn't have an uh, Ethernet uh, ad- adapter in, uh, built in? Wait, it doesn't? It do- <laughs> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> like, Ethernet adapter? No, the Ethernet, you know, the Ethernet, um, um, like, like you can connect it directly towards... You. It doesn't have an Ethernet port? It, yeah, port. It doesn't have one. You can only go Wi-Fi. You have to get a port. Just oh, like no, you can connect to it. Are you sure? You can make a hard connection, yeah. So somebody, it does have a. Somebody told me that you have to buy uh, uh, an adapter. Oh wait! Oh, that, that yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, you, you no. have to. You have to have the adapter for it. See, mm. what the cutting corners? We're what? in 2014. Why? I think yeah, it has two USB ports. Yeah, I believe there's a yeah because I, I mean, have my Wii adapter I mean, that I put used it, to put it this yeah. way. I would have been a sucker if I got in a full, a full, uh, you know, the, the same one that's mm-hmm. on the left. You know, the little, 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 uh, uh, little stick. You know, the direction pad thing. Mm-hmm. Right on the right, just like yeah. just like a Vita, just like a you know. They, come on, man! Like, why do we have to have this little button? That's I, retarded. Dude. I don't know. I'm only hoping that if it ever does to the Americas, that they address that issue. Because uh, I'm assuming Japanese gamers, I don't know if it's the hand size, but so, so it is so awkward. Should, should we call it that coming next E3? They're gonna announce a new Wii U system, smaller. More compact and it's gonna have the Wi-Fi. Button. That's a given, dude. Come on, yeah, that's have, you know what Here's, the, here's the thing. Remember, remember the rumors before they were they, they were in the in the talks of a new console. Yeah, I think this is, just, is this is this is technically that. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is technically it's like they made the decision, but not. They're like, no, we're gonna make it more powerful to bring new stuff, and yeah, but it's exclusive. Like, and here's here's the, the, the big, that about the big difference. Yeah, the big difference between the new 3ds and this one. It is more powerful. Yeah. Is, the, the processing is a lot faster. It can mm. run games that the current 3DS don't, will not. And they showed off a playable 3DS version of Xenoblade Chronicles. Shit. So the Xenoblade Chronicles was out for the Wii. So essentially, this 3DS is a Wii. Yeah. It's, it's so um, it's like a portable Xbox 360. Mm. Or a portable well, we, well, let's not put it up there with that. Yeah. Well, the I mean, Wii it, well, Wii is Xbox 360. Yeah, okay. yeah. The Wii, so, the Wii could. Thing. Yeah, same thing. No, no, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Wii, Wii U is Xbox 360. Yes. In the yeah. sense of graphics. All right, it's supposed to be graphics. They're, they're one gen before, so. It, but it's it's just, it's a powerful fucking handheld. But it's yeah. it, but then the customizable face plates, you could do that. So, uh, again, it's God, not... Damn it, Juan, what are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, convincing me. Uh, every, every if you see the video, they show the face plates. So, remember the Game Wait, Boy what? Micro? Uh-huh. You could change oh, the face plates. You okay. could do that with this oh, 3ds. Oh my god! It's gonna have face he's plates. Done, he's not. Jared's done. For I remember they had the micro. Wow. Yeah, I had a April, micro. April, I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I'm gonna I'm buy it. Another one. Um, <laughs> I, I I know me that I'm gonna buy it. I, I, let's, I I'm just gonna admit it. Uh, fuck, if people buy 3ds, it's because of, there's a guy I know from one of the Street Pats groups. He has the biggest collection of 3DSs I've ever known. He, every new 3DS that comes out, Jeez. regardless of color, if it's a special edition for Japan, he orders it. Damn. He has all of them. All of them. Damn. So I know he's already going to be on top of this, but I think Can't this is the video. only yeah. saving grace I, I like too, about so. this. <laughs> yeah. The only judge. reason I like this 3DS, and I, and I understand why they didn't do it before with the faceplates, because if you release a special edition 3DS every four months, people will buy it. Yep. Like the Yoshi one, the Dream Team one. But if now if you have a 3DS that you could customize at any given moment, hey, a new Zelda game's out. I'm going to change the Zelda. Uh, Animal Crossing or F-Zero. Mix and match it. You can 
really now make your 3D mm. as different yeah. than anybody else's. And you could even, I would love to see blank ones, just white hair. You design your own and snap them on. Okay, that's kind of cool. You know, like, like I would love to I see still, that. I still, I still, I'm not yeah. going to give into this. You know how they do with those, TM. like those um, trademark Moody dolls or whatever that you could just draw? <laughs> yeah, on yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> do that with faceplates. You know, just here's a blank one, use your oh. markers, do it. You know, you're giving Nintendo a bunch of ideas. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I get nothing. Please more. pay him royalties. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that's the main thing. Uh, nothing announced because Nintendo's solely focused on Smash Brothers and the Amiibos for this holiday season. Yep. And so next year, um, if, if they do bring the new 3DS, I, if they make an announcement E3, I'm with Will. I would expect they're going to announce a remodel of the Wii U. Yeah. Yeah. Smaller and something yeah. updates to the... To oh, yeah, the slim. Pretty much the yeah. 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 Wii U yeah. slim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It's already pretty, it's pretty yeah. small. <clears throat> um, another news. Cause we're going to move away from fucking this 3DS shit <laughs> where Jerry wants to go buy it now. I know. Um, I'm sure I get that Mario. Toys R Us <laughs> announced that if you pre-order... Sapphire or Mega Ruby, you get a cool Charizard plush. What? So go do that. Oh, there it is. Wait, say that again? You get a oh, Charizard okay. plush. Exclusive through. If you get Sapphire or Ruby at Toys R Us, you have to get order. both or just one? One. Just one. Oh, fuck. Wow. I'm sorry, I gotta give a sh- shout out to Gameplay. I'm it's still gonna get mine there. I know, yeah. same here. Long Beach? Yeah. 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 Um, also, in Pokemon news, Pokemon just announced they're coming out with Pokemon Tournament, which yeah. is a Tekken game. But with Pokemon in it, and it looks cool. And they just showed a couple gameplay footage. With Apparently, the, the, the arcade version is going to come out this upcoming year for testing in Japan. In Japan, yeah, only in Japan. And then we'll eventually move on to console. So well, that's being news, which is weird. I'm a little like, wait, you guys that's are random. Yeah, it's like, well, Namco and Nintendo are getting along a lot. They, I guess they, they really like each other out of the tech and shit, but. Yeah. Well, That's the fact that, that they're working on the Smash Brothers game, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's um, right. And they're working on the online functionality, so that's... But you know what? I, I think with this, it's like we're all a little weirded out, but there's the other big part of us like, I want to play the fuck out of that. Yeah, I, I do. See it. Yeah. I want to see Hitmonlee <laughs> and Hitmonlee. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, you know what? I want to see that. Because now I want to really... see Hitmonlee let's and think, Hitmonlee. Let's, let's think of, like, what are what's, like, three characters lock, other than Lucario and uh, Machamp? That's mm-hmm. already been we see. Mm-hmm. Who else do we want? And that have to be not Hit- want have to be in this game. Hitmon Top and Hitmon Lee. Those are my two like because I grew. I want to see sock and throw in it, man. I do too. The judo dudes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Sock, yeah. sock yeah. and throw. Yeah. I want the only reason why I want to see um, Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chop because Hitmon Chop has like fire punches, thunder punches, fire focus punch. Like I would imagine that they're gonna use like. Almost all their like signature moves, like seismic toss, but like you know, in a Tekken kind of way. So I kind of want to see that shit. It looks pretty cool. They did announce that fighting type Pokemon will not be the only type Pokemon in there. Oh, that's There's both cool. other types. Right. But I'm kind of like, I don't know my, I don't know that. Geo dude. Oh, that'd be kind of tight. Geo dude. Oh, who was or the Grappler? In the Y, I didn't even see the the grass and fighting. What was it? Uh, uh, the current ones? Yeah, for X and Y. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> exactly, I know. It, it escaped me too. It's Greninja. I want, I want uh, that would be dope. I want Hallelujah. Grun- Hallelujah. I mean, Hallelujah. That's what I call him. Hallelujah. I don't know who he is. Uh, it's oh, the, Halucha, the, the, little, yeah. the little parrot. With yeah. the, oh, chest spinner. Tell me, chest spinner. Chest spinner. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Halucha. I want him. Halucha. He's, yeah. the, he's the mask. Kind of like. He's parrot. a little parrot with a. But he's a wrestler kind of. Yeah. Like. Oh, wait, 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 I know that. Yeah, so that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. What was like. Shut up already. <laughs> no, but, no I, so we might see Evo one year with Puckin Tournament. You know, um, Smash, I call it Wiki Smash Leaks because it got, a, it got leaked out. All the characters for Smash. We'll that, saw all the characters. Yeah. I think we're really excited for the uh, yeah. Duck Hunt guys. Duck Hunt dog. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Finally get to beat up that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I came up with a funny thing when we were walking me one when I want to go to, when I will get him. And I said, I wouldn't mind seeing the Duck Hunt's final smash be that everybody becomes the target. It becomes now like the, when you're playing Duck Hunt, right? It becomes that stage and all the enemies you're fighting. And then you, with the Wii remote, just start zapping everybody. Or you, you just move the cursor. With yeah, you just move the cursor. But my thing is how he's going to use the ducks. Because it's not just him. It's him and the ducks. Yeah. And it's cool because it's just the duck smiling. And it's the dog smiling. I remember, damn, they're they're taking me long. back, dude. <laughs> yeah, I used that to cheat. They should look at the screen and go, fuck you. They announced, also, we had the leak. It was Bowser Jr. in Bowser the clown Jr. car. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
Ganon was confirmed. Ganon was confirmed. Game and & Watch is back. Game & Watch, Shulk from Xenoblade Chronicles, which a lot of fans wanted his, um, and they got. What's his name? Um, I forget his name. He's the, oh, uh, Rob. Rob. Yeah, he's Rob. in it. Oh, cool. But in the roster, we did notice there were people missing. Wolf is not in there. Yep. Snake is not in there. Which has been almost confirmed. Whoever put out these leaks, that mm. these are future DLC characters. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah. And... So in terms of who's not on the disc when, yeah. on day one, it's Lucas. Lu- uh, Lucas Ness is also confirmed. Yeah. Ooh, so yeah. Wolf, Snake, uh, and the Ice Climbers yeah. are not they in. Didn't make it. Yeah. They didn't make it, and so people are a little mm-hmm. mixed. Um, I think nostalgia-wise, people are upset, but realistically, how many people did use the Ice Climbers? Not too many. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and yeah, so I was like, that's guys, true. Let's give it up. I think maybe... I don't know if it would have been too difficult to have two characters, but they have Rosalina and the Luma as two. Falco's back. Falco is back. Falco's back. But um, if they do... I mean, talk about a game that could fucking make a fortune off DLC. Oh, yeah. I would buy, I would buy the DLC on that thing. They could... I would suck it for extra... extra. I just want more obscure characters. I don't want, like... Give me one Super that you would love to see. I would love to see the Sam. Well, I don't know if you saw, but the Samurai guy, what that inspired that game, oh, yeah. Samurai game that inspired the Legend of Zelda. It was a, a trophy. He's a trophy. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind him having him in the game. I wouldn't mind having the. Um, was it a Puyo Puyo? Not Puyo Puyo. Um, oh, I just think Puyo Pop. Uh, no, nah, not Puyo Pop. God, is that game where it's just like the character keeps spinning around? He was a trophy last year and the year before. Guy keeps spinning around, and it has arm. It's like a weird cartoon character. I forget the name, but I would like that. Um, some I keep, I hate that people keep saying like I want tails, I want shadow. Oh, I don't yeah, want yeah. that. Don't give me that. How about you give me something really cool, which is um, what's that? The the, the first Sega mascot that they had. It was the kid that just had Alex, the big, Alex, Alex kid. Alex, Alex kid. kid. Alex kid will be fucking tight on that. That's a real really weird like. What? Or Shinobi? Shinobi, Shinobi would be cool. Would be dope. Um, I think it's going to hit that point. It should. Who, who do most, you want to see, Wolver? I'm just saying it's going to hit a point that you're going to be the fucking Nintendo controller. You're going to be the power cables. You're going to be like... <laughs> the R, give me the RF switch. You know, you, know, you know what somebody said? The power cables, dog. You know what somebody said? Someone said in the, uh, in the group. Component cables would be good. <laughs> it would be cool. Like, you know, the, the last boss is the master hand. Someone said it would be cool if the last boss is not even the master hand. It's the power glove. <gasps> Control oh, and the chain. Oh, that's a good that would, that would be cool. Like I said, it's going to hit that point. Oh, yeah. Or the virtual boy for some reason. <laughs> it's like My the ears of the neglect will boy. not go on. Continue. <laughs> Facts like Bowser. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, this, this, um, I'm, I'm a little excited, but I'm also excited for DLC stuff. I want to see more stages. I want more stages from the N64. Mm-hmm. All of them. I want all the stages. I'm sorry. I'm still imagining power cables fight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at those components go. <laughs> I don't know. We're at the NES. It's like, oh, it was this final smash. You just, you have to keep putting the cartridge. It's going to start. Oh, yeah, you put the cartridge. Start. Wait, so I'm thinking goes. of, like, obscure titles. I mean, the uh, Mock Rider. Rainbow uh, Man. Uh, uh, what's the Star Tropics? Yeah. Or more characters from fucking F Zero that they've been lagging on. To they, they're, they're, oh, oh god, they have Slippy be on the fucking game. Oh, he's totally OP. That. Yeah, he's like <laughs> almost overpowered, dude. But I know what you're thinking, you fucking jackass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what he's thinking of. Shout out to Tournament Legacy. <laughs> oh, Just dang. saying. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's a piece of shit. And oh, by the way, <laughs> so, so on that story, the the guy who leaked it, or here, the girl who leaked it, we don't know who it he is. Got it. it was someone who works at Nintendo. Who does all the ESRB stuff yeah. that sends all that to the SRB so they can rate it? Um, and they filmed that. And Nintendo not only found out who it was, they fired them and they're suing the shit out of that yeah. employee. Wait, who? Who they? Nintendo, like when they. Who, who leaked it out? They fired the guy? It, it was the guy who sends all. There's a department that has to send the final build of games yeah. to the ESRB so they can rate it before yeah. they can you know, produce it and sell it. So this person was playing the build. Or the the final version of it, and they were recording all the characters being oh used, and they uploaded it. They traced it. They fired them, and they're suing them. And Nintendo put out a little meter of this thing that this was a former former employee, and it's yeah. just like and they put a hit on them. Damn. Yeah, Maybe. mysteriously doesn't show up to court. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Where's Iwata, son?" He's like in the middle of a mountain. 
is training on Damn. sniping. He's all bearded up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's it's like that episode or you know that what is it, Rocky Three when he's in the mountains like training? Yeah. He's like, Damn, Wada's been like This Borat is coming directly. No, he trains for all that to show up to his house, get right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> With the sniper for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Like, what um, the hell just happened, dude? Talking about Iwata song. He, uh, Miyamoto had an interview. You can kind of take over mm-hmm. from here. But what what what, what was this interview? Uh, in, in short, it was a very. You have to. I guess it's in the magazine. But there was a little excerpt on the online version that Miyamoto just, in short, reaffirmed Nintendo's focus to the hardcore. That they're that they. That, like and he made a like, comment. Like, Nintendo <laughs> for fucking ever. <laughs> he made a comment saying that with the casuals, and this is in reference to the casuals of people who play mobile phone mm-hmm. games. They're very fickle, um, and it's kind of like they're wanting to know, oh, what else do you have for me? And there's, like, no appreciation. So if you're, like, a game developer and you put... So, and we know a couple of friends who do shit mm-hmm. like this and how much time and effort they put yes. into a game. And that there's certain audience, especially with the casuals, when they play the game... And keep in mind, these games are, like... They give them to them for free, they're paid to play, or mm-hmm. a dollar. And they get, like, well, pff, this is... I deserve more, or I want more. Mm-hmm. Or they just... You know, that's, like, it sounds like it's pretty pathetic. And I don't think that's the actual word that's... I don't know if the translation was correct. Mm-hmm. But Nintendo says Nintendo's refocusing on their core audience. Mm-hmm. They didn't say hardcore game, it was just a core audience. Yeah. And which is interesting, and there is some validity in that because at E three this past June, we saw the teaser for a Star Fox, mm-hmm. which is considered a core game. Not something for the masses, it's just for the hardcore Nintendo yep. fan for that specific niche. But if that's true, and if they are focusing on the core audience, then that could mean not only Star Fox, that they're working on Metroid, and maybe we'll see something on that. They're working on Xenoblade, Chron- oh, Xenoblade Chronicles X or whatever, mm. which is the M- massive MMORPG that they're yep. doing. Yep. Yep. Um, Smash Brothers are really promoting the shit. They've been doing such a good job yep. like getting it out, not only promoting it, but having people play it. And doing that tournament at E3, which is really successful, and they're more than likely going to do it again. Um, this is good. I'm just curious as to what titles or what new franchises they will bring, because and I, and and if the and also the new Zelda that's coming out, if it's really Skyrim slash Zelda, then that's for me that's extremely exciting. I'm not a yeah. diehard Zelda fan, but even with Skyward Sword, I enjoyed it for what it was. I'm starting to see the formula just over and over and over again, and you know revisiting. To, I want something different, and when I saw that direct and I saw where they were going with this it finally feels like something fresh and and I hope it lives up and it is everything that they're telling us that it's going to be and if and because and, and, and if and if they are saying that we're focusing on the core then this is something and you know this was said last year when uh, the Wii U was criticized and it was Nintendo should die and Nintendo should just go third party and Nintendo should just go mobile a Nintendo that's backed up against the wall <laughs> is a scary Nintendo yeah. Because that's when they take risks, and that's when they, you know, will really blow you out with you know something. Mm-hmm. And I think this is what it is. When Nintendo's pushed against the wall and their hand is forced, that's when they'll surprise you and catch you off guard. And, and it's true that their casual people, they moved on. They did. They moved on to 360s and PS3s. They're all older now. They mm-hmm. they don't want to be. They don't want that 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 like. Oh, I don't want, why do I want to do this? And then the Wii U was promoted wrong. I mean, having a name like Wii U just sounds like an old... Yeah, yeah, the name was, it was death. death. We all had a, like, uh... Oh, guys, you guys could have named something else. Like, the just Wii call two? it Dolphin. I don't know, some dumb Wii shit. Two. Yeah, bring back the Dolphin, right? Yeah, Project Wii Dolphin. Two, what was duh. it, like, the, the, the <laughs> Nintendo Next or the Super... Yeah. Like, Super just Super, something. The Nintendo, not, it was, like, the Nintendo a, Entertainment a, System. But not yeah. like, fucking you know, Wii U. No. That's not so... Every, I mean, you can even ask any Latino, it's like, is that not... A week two, or like you know, they don't yeah, really it was know super that. Confusing. Yeah, it is confusing, and especially for demographic that like community, like Latinos. Okay, they go out of the way to be like, "What's the cheapest system?" All right, I'm not getting a PS3 or PS4 or, or Xbox One. I'll get you a Wii U. How dumb that sounds. And then, and then even <laughs> at that like, point, yeah, like, especially with us, like we like there, there was a point growing up where any video game system was called a Nintendo. Yeah. Hey, go like play the, the Nintendo. Uh-huh. My yeah. mom, my mom, so like, hey, que está comprando tanto Nintendo, right? Me. It's become its own thing. It's like the word fuck. It's like fuck. Yeah. It's like works so many like, ways. Mom, it's a 360. So like, I wish it the next Nintendo system. They just call it. It's the Nintendo system. Yeah. That, that's what it is. It's that, a Nintendo I system. That'll be good. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Nintendo is so much stuff that you it's can't. It's like a Disney. It's like it's like their estate was Disney. Yeah. They had the mascot. 
Th- like, it's a mascot that can be used for anything. Right. They could just like, call, if you Disney go to the of... swami, you see Mario smoking weed, <laughs> no. weird ass shirt, <laughs> eating mushrooms. That's when you go, shit's getting weird. And right? then let's do just borrow the PS3 thing. Like if you do PlayStation, PlayStation Two, this Nintendo system, this is the Nintendo Two, Nintendo Three, Nintendo Four. Done. Well, I would be cool with that. I'd be like, yeah, I got a Nintendo. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So, hey, you got a Nintendo system? Like that's how we talk, and that's how it should be used. Not you got a Wii U. Wii U. Wii U. It, it sounds weird. weird. Yeah. It's, it's like it's, too. Weird, like, it's not like weird dude. cool, it's just weird weird. Are you saying Latin America? <laughs> It'll work. Yeah. It's like we they they did it because all oh, the trying to sound all fun. We you is like it's about you. We, and we and, yeah. And, it's no, like, still I fucking don't stupid. need that. Just call the Nintendo us. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, I think Nintendo <laughs> boss. Nintendo at a point <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> too. Nintendo try to be Apple. You know, they try to be their own thing, not do everybody else. Yeah. The thing is, the Apple consumer and the Nintendo consumer, we're different, man. Yeah. We're not like Apple, you know. Yeah. Or, but, you guys have a brain. <laughs> yeah, but it's they have a lot of similarities. <laughs> but I think with this, it's it's just really refreshing to yeah. hear, like from Miyamoto, we're refocusing on the core. They have and, to. And I think this they is something. To. And to be honest, I think this is something Miyamoto has always wanted. But remember, Miyamoto is not a position where he's running the business. He's the he's a producer. He's a game designer. Yeah. This is Iwata yeah, and the board. Can't fuck up. And if you see those reports of Iwata with the uh, board of directors and the investors, there was a direct quote from an investor when he was taking Q and A. He says, "I don't care about games. I want to make money." Dang. So a lot of the decisions, I I feel like maybe was Nintendo at any time forced like, nah, nah. yeah, this is from a guy who's investing in Nintendo. I don't care about what you say about games. Uh, how are you going to make us money? Just say I want to kill children and right. fuck people. <laughs> but if there's money, money involved, and I, and I, I, talk. it's got to be a point oh where like, God. okay, we're releasing all these fucking games peripherals for the casual because that's going to sell money. And I think they were forced like. I, if there's a business sense where you're like, yeah, you know what's better, but if you have people who are investing and in you, you're like, no, we want the Wii again. Make shit like was like with the Wii. And yeah, like, you, you can't because the investors don't know. Yeah, shit. and then there's exactly. a game producer like, fuck, we have this awesome idea for a game, but they goes, no, I don't get it. No, make Wii Party Five. You yeah. know, like, and now it's like, no, see, all the fucking ideas for the Wii U, fucking ten. Didn't work. Let us do our shit. Let us do what we do, yeah. and we will make you money, and the gamers will be happy. Yep. And it's now I feel like, okay, go ahead. Thank you, fuckers. And now we're yeah, going to get, now we're get our Metroid. That'd be funny. That's the real conversation to have. I was like, thanks, fuckers. Now we can do this shit. Yeah. I don't care about games. I just want to make just I want to make money. No, it's Honor. directly what he Damn. said. But it sounds like the place you used to work at. Yeah. It's like they said the same shit. Yeah, yeah. But I, no, but it's, I, <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> wow. Like, I don't care about risks. I don't care. I don't want to take chances. I want money and do the stuff Damn. that will guarantee us money. And now that you know Nintendo's like, not doing they, well, they, they ask him, "But what do you what do you think about the Wii U? What the fuck is a Wii U?" <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is a Yoshi game. What the fuck's a Yoshi? What is that? Like, don't show me none of that shit. I'm with Nintendo. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. And he's, then, like, he's like, "This is Nintendo." <laughs> but you know what? And I and I think and I, and I and I'm willing to bet money on this. When Nintendo had that Smash Brothers tournament, and. It was not only like we knew Smash Brothers was was you know had a passionate following for over what twelve fucking years. Melee, it's the longest running fighting. Get this, Melee more than Street Fighter, more than Tekken, more than anything. It has is the most active and longest running fighting game community for what single game, not a franchise, but for a single game, Melee. Damn. And Melee's been out since what two thousand one, two thousand two, two thousand yeah. yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's that long, and if you go to the store to buy it. It goes for eighty, seventy dollars. Melee, Fuck. the disc, yeah. not the case and the instructions. Just the fucking disc. Show me an Xbox or PS3 game yeah. or a PS PlayStation game. I'm sure there's a few, but Nintendo has a bunch like that. So when they saw that, and they see how fer- the fervor for that franchise and how diehard they are for that game and how much they play the meta game with the fucking everything that was weight dashing and the fucking tech, it's like fuck. The fans are there. They're yeah, willing to. They're I, think there. They, I think they found out about the fans when they did the first Twitch. Thing. Yeah, they were like, "There's a fan base." Like, it, <laughs> it didn't occur to them. They're well, like, it's not just we... Pokemon. No, and they're like, they're like, "Fuck this! Where's the money? Fuck Smash Brothers! What the fuck's a Smash Brother?" Yeah. yeah. And then like when Reggie came out, he says, "We were all," and he said, "We were all in the back, you know, me, Sakurai, and, and we're watching this, and we from beginning to end, we were blown away by this. And hell, it's there's nothing on paper now, but." We might just do this again next year. Mm-hmm. 
They should do it next year for it, Evo. It, yeah, they should. Nintendo, Nintendo sponsored Evo this year. Yeah, they That's were sponsored. Weird. That was a weird moment. Really? They were. Like, we're, we're yeah. Watching, we're watching the, the stream. Fuck? We're like, I was like, whoa, Nintendo. There's a, there's a Nintendo ad. Fucking. Yeah, they dismissed with their logo was down there. They full on supported Evo this year. Um, and um, no, dude, it, I think this is like the turning the turning point for Nintendo. Yeah. I think it's good because if they if if uh, their market. Nintendo's Smash Brothers, like, like a gimme marketing. Yeah. We make a Smash Brothers console, designed everything. Yeah. Con- true controllers, the game, like old school Nintendo. Remember the old school Nintendo ball? You got yeah. two fucking controllers. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. yeah, two controllers. Yeah, you know, and the game. So on Christmas, whatever you know, any holiday, you open that box. You and your friend, your brother, sister can play. That's cool. and you're done. Sense, yeah. And then you have, you, hey, you know what? Aside from the GameCube. And, and yeah, you can play with a Wi-Fi connection, mm-hmm. but for the hardcore, make that uh, LAN adapter just include it. Yeah. If you're able to yeah, do a hard connection, yeah, it makes sense. Because yeah. if they're going to promote online, and those those servers better be fucking ready. <laughs> those servers better be fucking ready. Because Nintendo, more than Mario Kart, more than Animal Crossing, no game is going to have such a flood of yeah. players in this. I'm, I just uh, hope they're connected directly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it's gonna be fucking huge. And, yeah. and they just do DLC packs, new stages, mm-hmm. new characters, bring back the Metroids and, the, and Star Fox, and, and you'll see Star all that. Star Fox, man, that's what I'm stuck in. But give me multi, give me Shit, online man. Star Fox. Give me yeah. multiplayer Star That'd Fox sixty four. That would be fucking and, awesome. Uh, be wow. Give me, you know what I would love? Just I know this is not on the list. I want a Star Fox where you can create a legion. Where you can be oh, like, be cool. a, like an like armada, cool. like you oh, have yeah. your own great fox. So once control great fox is a commander and a bunch of other players, they're in the starships, and you guys fly out. Remember that stage in Star Fox um, sixty four, where you flew in and there was Bill, this dog. His team was fighting these aliens. There was a giant like oh, yeah, that's a tiny temple. Yeah, that yeah. was my favorite fucking yeah, that stage. Was my he says we need to repel. We need to shoot the panels in this yeah, giant starship. Yeah, really cool, and you dude. and there was a giant fight. Yeah, your it a, team. Yeah, yeah, it was you and like every yeah. other star fighter. Yeah, against, so you, like, all I remember games. that. Damn. And you, uh, you remember you brought that? Down? I've never played it. Oh, oh dude, I didn't that's sacrilegious, it. man. Yeah. And, and that was a cool. I love that. Like, it was good. not just me and CPU flying. Yeah. It was like Everybody. open world. It felt like a little open world. Yeah. I want that in space. So it's me. Let's say us three. We're all four of us. We're on a mission. We can go to separate sections. Like, all right, we need to take down this shield. So go. You go to the generator. Yeah. You take. You know, we'll knock it down. I'll draw fire. You go in and take out the core. Yeah. But we can do this with a team of ten, team of yeah, twelve. Yeah, be tired. Like dog fights and shit, yeah, and you have stats. Cool. And then on the screen, like if, if since it's recording your face, if you're playing, oh, as a camera. There's a camera. A little a video was like. So it's like, hey guys, because you know in Star Fox on yeah, the virtual yeah. show, yeah. you you could tap in. You could like, hey, you know, like you could talk directly to your friend mm-hmm. over the, you know. Like a guy, hey, you know, help me out of here. That'd be kind of like, cool. Or go back me I'll up. I'll wear an uh, actual helmet. Just <laughs> yeah, I would too. I'd be hey like, guys, you guys. Um, <laughs> when my neighbors are looking across, what the fuck is that? that Half naked, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so Carlos, chat, like, chat roulette and Star Fox. Carlos, for God's sake, your camera's on. What do you mean, guys? <laughs> <laughs> there's like, there's like a flashlight right yeah. next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect cross shot. Damn. But that would that, that would be what it, my Star Fox would be. Yeah, so that sounds amazing. Well, I think we had enough Nintendo talk. Yeah. Because uh, that was a lot of Nintendo news that happened this week. But we got some great news because another company we, we love, Sony, and they're yeah. making some awesome things. They just announced the PlayStation Plus uh, games for September. I got you, Jared, because I know you, you got the PlayStation Plus. For the PS4, we have Velocity and Sports Friends, which are two great games. Sports Friends, if you don't know, it's a bunch of... There's like four indie games in one in there. Um, they have Kukra, they have um, Joust, which is a great game. Uh, if you have a person, it's the one where everyone's, you know, everyone moves around. There's like music, and you have to have to like, kind of open. And everyone's either... A weird, you can carry the, the PS4 remote, and the whole point of it's... Um, when the music stops, you have to you have to slap or just touch gently on the PS4 control. It's kind of like a tag you're it. Mm. It's really cool. Definitely check it out. Uh, for PS3, we have uh, PlayStation All Stars and Horde. Uh, are going to be available for free for download. Uh, for the Vita, we're going to have Joe Joe Danger, which is an actual really cool game. If you um, if you go check it out and TS TSK, I didn't know about this, and I'm a huge fan of this. It's a remake of the game Tempest. It's an old school arcade game. Whoa, really? Yeah. 
I was blown away. I was like, whoa. whoa, whoa. The I one where you yeah, just yeah. go around the it's perimeter like cool, and shoot like, down. Oh, man. Yes. You should download it for, for your Vita. Just saying. Tempest is coming out. I'll do it right now. Yeah. Wait, not right now? We are recording. That's true. <laughs> um, and also, another news Platinum Games just announced that the Legend of Korra game is going to be out in October. Wow. There's gameplay footage of it, and it looks fucking amazing. I don't know how many times I have to tell everybody to go look at the footage. It's almost really cool. So, if this is an actual a, actual Avatar game, that doesn't suck. It's going to be really good. It's done by, <laughs> it's done by that Platinum Games. doesn't suck. The, 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 that's done by Platinum what, Games. What's this one? It's for Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be on the PSN. It's gonna uh, Xbox 360, PS3, PC. Um, I you, mean, you mean Avatar as in 360 Avatar? What do you mean exactly? Avatar as in Avatar, the Airbender Avatar. Oh, okay, I was like, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of Avatar games. That yeah, suck. that sounds like no, 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 well, this, that's what that's what you were saying. This yeah, is yeah. the Legend of Korra. This is the new series that just okay. happened. But this one, she knows how to use all the fire and earth and wind. And, Water, all that shit. Captain Planet. But it's done, it's, done, it's done by Platinum Games. Well, you should know who Platinum Games is. They've yep. done Metal Gear uh, Rising. Rising, which is um, pretty legit. Yeah. You um, haven't played it yet. Wonderful one. It's not up yet. Is that up? So it's going to be up Vanquish. every Monday. Vanquish. Yeah. Vanquish. Platinum Games is just a shit. Yeah. Pianeta. Yeah. Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't no, they yeah, didn't. Yeah, they, they did. They did. They did. That's them. You're right, yeah. That's Platinum Games, Zem, and Wonderful 101. That's true. Oh, which is Will's top list. Awesome game, man. Which yeah. one? Uh, um, Wonderful 101. Yeah. And he was telling me it was like Pinkman, which I'll never pick up just because of the title. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I was like, oh, this like Pinkman. This shit is awesome. Um, yeah, it's more the humor is fucking great. Yeah. 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 Also, we all, um, all three of us had played it, and we said, fuck that, I'm not ever doing it again. We played the playable trailer for Silent Hill. Fuck it. So, um... Is this yeah, the new one? Oh, I already beat it. As as Wait, is this, yeah. the, is this the Silent Hill that's Guillermo del Toro yeah, and yeah. Hideo Kojima? <laughs> it's a playable. Yeah. Yeah. It's a playable you trailer. play it? Uh, <laughs> it's, I'll tell you this. I just know it's supposed to be scary as shit. I, it, it it is. I, I jumped out and these guys were like, holy shit. I had it at the part where 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 the chick, like, she she's like, like it's a haunting uh, area and she comes out and she grabs you and scares you, but it's at the, one of the most random spots and then he I was playing it and he actually jumped and screamed. I've never, I've never really experienced goosebumps. And I'm, 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 I'm serious because I'm. Is like, there a video of, of this out? It's on. It's on. Uh, you can. I mean, you can do it on YouTube. Okay, you can check it out. That. But like, dude, play it, man. It's yeah, that's experience. the best way to do it. But, and yeah, the, the headphones. I had the headphones. It's, so uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's oh, yeah. the worst. That's the worst because man. it takes you out of your element. You yeah. just like because you hear these noises and like. They're just passing by you. You hear voices. It's nasty, man. It's weird. And it's this like, is broad daylight. These guys are just chilling, drinking, you know, t- among themselves. And I'm just here. <gasps> like, I just like. Yeah, it was in the middle of the day. There was an atmosphere, and he still fucking I got feel creeped out. The last game that really gave me chills like that was Eternal Darkness. Oh, no, no, this one will really like, fucking scare you. Uh, like, it's just, weird. It's like. It's like you're walking and you hear. You hear. It's like everything. If you say hello, you. she'll say hello back. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Man? Is that true, Jerry? I don't know. No, when I was talking last night. I was like, like she keeps talking to you little by little. We keep asking, you. but there's also rumors. It's, that yes, that, yes, there's that's rumors. part of the puzzle. There's rumors. You're supposed to talk, talk to her, and do some like weird little things, and then you beat the last one puzzle, and you get the actual trailer at the end. So that whole like, because I didn't believe him, but yeah, that's part of the game. She talks to you and you say hello. Where is going to pass it? <laughs> but that. What's that, the rumor? Oh, the rumor is that they, um, there's a lot of rumors going on in the game about the trailer. There's more into it. And that we really know. So apparently, if you know the name of the girl that's in it, there's a, a they don't tell you what her name yeah. is. But apparently, if you see her name three times in the mirror, in the bathroom, there's a bathroom in there in that level. That something happens. This is, there's a secret scene that happens there that you still don't see who, who the character is and whatever. But it's like almost like a weird, like oh shit, I'm freaking out. Um, but there's a lot of into that game that they're considering because they were like, holy shit, that worked. It was the most downloadable thing on the PS4. I mean, that teaser was amazing. It's really creepy, yeah. too. Like, there's, there's, in the beginning, you're like, oh, okay, cool. But then you hear, like, the radio telling you to turn around. Oh, man. Turn around. Cool. You should really turn around. With a different tone. And, and then you turn around, you're like, oh, nothing's there. And it's then like, you go, boom, and it grabs you. It's like, oh, shit. There's also a scene later on after that. Mm-hmm. Can I see kids? this? Yeah, definitely. There's, there was a show. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene where the chick, um... She throws something because, like, in in the hallway you're walking, like when you're about to hit the the basement door, like if you look up, there's like a balcony, and like it really it, that that really freaked me out. I jump, was you're walking, and I look up, and there's this like half dead person, like 
almost in like mid darkness, but you can still see him just staring at you over the rail. I don't know why that really like disturbed me. But yeah, definitely. Um, I'm a little excited. It's something new. Uh, I know Will's been waiting for some sort of fucking. Yeah, because they destroyed Silent Hill. Yeah, they man. did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did. I, I was yeah. What was the worst? Admit it. I, uh, I, got, I, play, I uh, played Fragile Dreams. Well, I got I got fucking lied to my face by the developers saying, "Oh, yeah, oh it's three. like this, like that. <laughs> and these elements came from that. It was fucking bullshit." Are you talking about Downpour? Downpour was a fucking piece of shit. Okay, dude. let me let me just say this: What the fuck is up with this scare police shit? <laughs> there's what a, there's, there's scare police in Silent Hill Downpour. They're literally patrolling the, the, the streets, and then they stop you, and then... Uh, if they see you, they'll, they'll, they'll bring up, like, three monsters. Yeah. You can fight, and then they'll take off. I e- exactly. Was, His face alone said it. Fucking, exactly. I don't know, dude. It was fucking retarded. I mean, there, there was, like, so many different... I guess they were trying to take into different directions, you know, different teams, you know, for Sunny Hill, but I was retarded. Like, I mean, Origin... I, I'm, I'm playing Origin again. That shit's pretty... It's pretty, pretty decent. Fuck it. You can play through it. Homecoming was not that bad. Um, right now, I'm playing Shadow, Mem- Shadow Memories on the Wii U because I think it's the most um, interactive. Uh, Which was that one again? That's the one. Um, Is that the one with the covered little girl on the swing? Yes, that's the yeah. reimagined to one. Yeah, the reimagined. I mean, to one. you can't fight, right? You have to run. Yeah, you can't yeah. fight. You have to mm-hmm. run. So, it, uh, out, like, and you outlast. can hide too, right? You can. It's hide. like Outlast. And then, and then, pretty much, um, like, uh, if you get scary. a phone call. The Wii U, I mean, the, oh the, yeah, the, that the was Wii the weird Like it calls you. That's that's awesome. I'm not gonna get that on PS2 uh, on PSP. I was like, fuck it, I'll get it on this one, and it's awesome. It is. It's it's, it's really immersive. It immerses you into that world. Yeah, and I'm like, there you go. I will still prefer a knife or something. But yeah, something, yeah. man. Give Let's me see. a needle. Or something. Yeah, something, man. Like, a sharp, needle, pencil. Yeah, sharp pencil. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's <laughs> stab in the eye, run. <laughs> But, I mean, still, even now, okay, that game wasn't that bad, but, um, yeah. too, like, Dom 4 was like, whoa, this is retarded, like, but, um, but then, like, this came out of nowhere, first person view, the first ever uh, for Silent Hill, wow. or Silent Hills, and I don't know why they call it Hills now. Well, oh, well, yeah, because, uh, was it the room had, when you're going back into the room, you're oh, first goes, person? Oh, you're right. It that's does, true. So. That's true. It goes third person when you go to the levels, and, and, and when you're in the room, it's first person. That game was fucking awesome, by the way, Tim. That game was awesome. It was creepy as fuck, too. It's like, literally, like, if you were living in your apartment, if you were living in an apartment, especially somewhere in New York or something, you would really start thinking, like, man, shit can really go down here if this shit was possessed. I need to see this shit. Yeah. So, but it's pretty awesome, man. This game, uh, weirdest fucking combination, you know. Yeah, r- most random people. Most random. But, but it, it works, yeah. man. They, if anybody can make it work, it's them. Yeah, yeah. And I think this. It, I feel like it's gonna set some new standard in the sense of like, let's bring you know Hollywood actors and uh, you know great legendary uh, game writers and, and directors, and, and directors, amazing directors, and put them because I mean you see a movie that's a higher budget and you can't really do um, crazy you know graphic. I mean crazy like effects with it because it's be more expensive. But in the video game, you can do all that. And it'd be way cheaper and, if anything, more profitable. I just knew Guillermo. I heard that back uh, in July that Guillermo del Toro was doing something with Silent Hill. Yeah. And I didn't know it was this soon. Like, he was already, yeah. that he's been working on it. But if there's one guy that I will fucking, no questions, ask, see anything, or yeah. pay for anything that he does, it's him. Yeah. I'll, I will go see or play anything that man creates. Yeah. But um, it's, it's crazy, man. I don't know, like, the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm only thinking, like, if it comes out of Sony and they do that, their version of the Oculus Rift kind of thing, I forgot what they call it. Morpheus. Morpheus. Yeah, Morpheus. And man, that is the. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm thinking that. That is the way to play that game. You will freak the fuck out if they if they go into that version. I don't yeah. know, man. Surround sound. Yeah. It just takes you out of out of like you know like you see in movies like crazy futuristic games yeah. that you feel. That's the whole point to feel the world. Mm-hmm. I think we're kind of getting there, man. Surround sound. sound to me, out of anything, especially scary movies, what fucks with me is the unknown. Mm-hmm. So, like, that that's pretty much this game's doing to me. It's just scaring the shit out of you. I mean, you hear it, like, in your ear, passing by and behind you. It gives that, that, that it gives you that chill of that good, um, that good ghost story your your uncle, your aunt tells you, like, oh, that's yeah. about Lord, this Those is what happened. Urban legends. Those urban legends yeah. you hear, it gives you, Fuck. it gives you that feel. Like, you're one of the game, bring it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, man. You're crying. Anyway. But, yes, I mean, that's one. That's the whole point. Something else scare the shit out of you, man. Creep you out, disturb you for, you know, and then make sense of it later on in, in life. <laughs> you know, 
I mean, there was a there was a cool minute in Silent Hill 2. I didn't know the pyramid guy was raping one of the monsters. I didn't know that until I grew up and like, wait, that guy's fucking that monster. I just thought it was like attacking it. And I was like, fucking, I don't know, 13, That's 15. a little famous scene in Silent Hill 2. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Is it? So, just shit like that, man, you know? But There's been also um, other news. Uh, Saints Pro Force getting some DLC. Um, oh, shit. If you guys uh, don't know, they over PAX this weekend. Um, violation had some had a panel. They announced that they're gonna have a new expansion to Saints Row Four. It's called uh, Gat, "Get Me Out of Hell." If you guys don't know, spoiler alert: uh, Gat, uh, who's the hero of Saints Row One, Two, uh, is, a, is found alive for some reason, but in Four, and so he's alive. But now your main character you've been using since One. Well, that's if you have been using the same character as One. I've been using it since Two, I think. Um, gets stuck into Hell. And it's up to Gat to go get you to hell. So he has to go into a portal to hell, and then you have, like, cool upgrades. Like, you can summon demons, and you're an angel. You get wings. You can fly that way. I see you get around, like, everywhere. Um, definitely give him props, because uh, I'm actually kind of down to get this DLC. Cause... And also, just to let you guys know, Saints Row 4 is going to be out for the PS4 and Xbox One. And then all new, you know, re- re- you know graphics are better and everything. Um, but with all the DLC included, for a total price of thirty dollars. So in Saints Row Four, really with all the DLC, all the DLC weapons, all those exclusive bullshit that they give on the side. Perfect price. Perfect price, thirty bucks. And it's funny, the DLC is twenty. So in reality, <laughs> you're pretty much buying like the cheap way to get the game, and you're buying an extra. It's a complete game. Complete. It's funny how like that's a. I mean, Saints Row Four is an awesome game. Stand alone, you know. Mm-hmm. Getting all the DLC for thirty bucks on the PS4, super worth it. Yeah. And then you hear about Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter, you know, edition for forty dollars. You know, and I mean, you just look at like what you get. I'm like, yeah, yeah man. Just, just the way you know things are marketed. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just like, you know, almost definitely. You, you get to get, you get to that point where you're like, really, like, is this all? Like, who's get? really yeah. appreciating their friends? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's the truth, man. It's like. Because when you told me 30, I didn't believe him. Like, that's insane. Why? Like, yeah. I'll give you 40. You know what I'm saying? That's a full-on game on that DLC. Wow. The PS4 remastered. Like, yeah. Amazing. Um, Talk about remastered. Anybody getting The Last of Us remastered? I never played it. I never played it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Um, the Behemoth just announced game number four. And it was revealed at PAX. It's uh, almost it's a... Um, what is it? Uh, turn-based kind of game. Very fire emblem, almost if anything. This is gonna be out. They get with no date, but they're giving playable demos right now. So maybe we'll have a future game night with them again, for sure. Uh, Need Hog and Dust of Elysian Tale, which are games that came out exclusively for PS3 and Xbox, are not gonna be on for the PlayStation 4. And so that's super cool. Need Hog's a great game if you guys haven't played it. It's a almost Atari-ish um, fencer game. It's really easy, but it's really like fun. Because the, the only purpose is that you start off in one area, and if you're the second player, you're supposed to go all the way to the left. If you're the first player, you're supposed to go all the way to the right. But you can kill each other as many times as possible. It's just that when you kill him, you get you, he has you can start running already towards the end of the goal. It's a pretty cool game. Definitely worth checking out. Um, also, I want to give a um, quick, quick shout out to the Kickstarter before we wrap this up. There's a Kickstarter out there, and Juan, definitely you should check this out. It's a guy who. I, God bless this man, and God bless that he's probably spent like ten years of his life doing this. You're religious? <laughs> no, no. But banana, I, I give my my banana blessings to him. Oh wow! Um, that he went out of his way to get every single cover of every Famicom game released in Japan to make an art book. It's all the Famicom covers, so it's every cartridge, every release, and I don't know how many cartridges are. So what did he like? Make a take, take a picture of all of them? No, it, they're scans. They're scan copies completely. Like there's not a photo. It's a, a complete copy of it. Mm. And of course the history and a little bit of backstory between all the covers, the artists of some of the covers. Um, thirty bucks. Could that's it. There, that's only thirty bucks. Big ass book like that. I don't know how many games. Um, okay, so you buy the book, and somebody he scanned the cover. I don't know how he's doing it, but he okay, has. I'm just saying, what what is like. What's the reason why we like it? What's the point, yeah. Because some of the artists in there are pretty rad. Yeah. Like, the art, if you like artwork for covers, I like some of the covers. No, but I'm saying, like, are you buying a book with a bunch of pictures? Yeah. That, okay. 
What are you doing? Find pictures. This is cheapness. I know, it's just cheap. No, this is cheap. My thing is this. Sorry for my tone of voice. No, no, no. I'm no. not going against. I'm just saying what exactly is. To me, I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen all like the Dragon Quest. Like Dragon Quest mm-hmm. one of my favorite games mm-hmm. because they're all done by Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama is the guy who draws for Dragon Ball Z. Mm, okay. Of course. Um, not all the game cards. Not not everybody has the covers for them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're old. Like you don't get it. Like these cartridges are like box. They weren't like. They weren't like the boxes. They're like the boxes that we grew up with. They, you go, oh, all right, cool. You threw them away. Mm-hmm. I'm quite sure everybody did that. Yeah. He went out of his way to find all of them. There's a lot of Famicom games. This is what, like, how many Famicom games? Like 500 or something like yeah. that. More than what we got here. So he went out of his way to, to scan them all. I mean, some of the stuff there ch- changed artwork from what happened here. Mm-hmm. So some stuff you'll see that you're like, this is not the cover for Castlevania. Because the one in America has this dude, but then they have a legit cover, like, drawn, beautiful, you know, beautiful stuff that you mm. want to see. Like, some people are like, damn, yeah. he drew that? Like, that's fucking weird. Like, yeah. or Dragon Ball Z, like, complete new artwork for, at the time when they weren't even fucking doing them. Yeah. It's crazy shit, dude. Like, exclusive games you wouldn't even see. You're like, oh, someone went out of the way to get a scan on. I want it because I love some of the artwork that they had for some of the even the simple games. Cause that's how they, that's how the games will sell you is the cover. Yeah. You'll be like, that's oh, right. that looks tight. Yeah. Oh man, and, you know, like Castlevania is just fucking Belmont, you know, like this, and it's like they look nothing like that. <laughs> but when you get the Japanese yeah. one, it's it's Belmont turned around, looking towards the castle, and it's drawn really nice, and the way the castle is drawn, and the way the vampire looks weird, it's like it's cool shit like that. Yeah. Like it's almost like oh wow, like they don't draw shit like this. Anymore. Yeah. Like when was the last time we ever saw? All if there's a, there's someone wrote a good article about how video games and you should know this movie titles carry the same themes. Yeah. Fucking Mega sixty four did the funniest one is chin down eyes up because that's every cover. Yeah. Assassin's Creed chin down eyes up. Yeah. Everything's like that. It's like this weird saying like I mean there's no there's no, no genuine artwork. There's this crazy thing like my my friend's like a crazy Disney fan. Mm-hmm. And I didn't believe her. She said that all the Disney covers, like in the nineties, everybody's looking to the left. And I didn't believe her. And she showed me over twenty Disney cover movies, and yeah, cool. everybody's looking to the left. Thirties. Really? Her family like a hardcore Disney fan. I'm like, you're bullshitting. And she's showing me the VHS version, by the way. No, I don't know why. They, you know, I don't know if they're still <laughs> watching it, but uh-huh. but it's just like bullshit. And then everybody's looking to the left. I don't understand that. I mean, it's kind of odd, but I'm saying that's weird but, but I get what you're saying like in the sense like yeah. the time the era the artwork and the way yeah. they kind of feel to people yeah. especially in the 90s fucking they, weird they, ass they, shit they have to draw like that's yeah, the cool yeah. thing I respected about like game covers yeah. like now you look at the game covers it's like oh okay if it's the color of, of the certain type of person that's in the game it's that color look at Saints Row yeah. everything's purple yep that's true look at Metal Gear everything's usually like black gray or green gray or green yeah. or dark blue yeah you go look at Street Fighter Street Fighter or now they always put one person because he stands out. Ryu, yeah. white white tunic and he's always, and he's always with Ken. Yeah. I mean, it's Gi. He's Gi, yeah, it's Gi. I'm thinking of tunic from Legend yeah. of Zelda. Yeah. Or Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda carries almost the same thing. Yeah. Almost, almost, almost everything. Mario, of course, Mario's Mario. Now Mario, I noticed they put white backgrounds on all of them. Yeah. To make them stand out. That's true. Mario Kart 7, same thing. It just makes it it's simple. blank. Look at Mario Kart 7. It's blank. Yeah. And it's just mm-hmm. Mario like this. I'm like, just make it guys, simple. like, really? Like, that's the thing that, that's why I appreciate that book. Too many colors. <laughs> it's for not the that. Parents, it's, it's, for the parents. Yeah, it's, it's because the kids are like, they have to think at a at a perspective of a customer. Like, yeah. if you look at something, you want to look at the product, be like, oh, there it is. You know, not be like, where is it? Yeah. But I, I prefer the word is it and oh shit, that's a really cool like cover for the game. Yeah. Silent Hills, always the same shit. Yeah. It's either black, blue, or white. Yellow. And they put a character in it. <laughs> Green, brown, oh, or yellow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sorry, fan. <laughs> no no no. It, 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 it's 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 like it, it the covers for all the games are not that I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I mean but I mean that that's that's that I, I just want I wasn't going against me my tone already sounding negative. No no but no. What I'm saying is like why would I pitch what, it? No no. What are you getting? Like what do you, what are you, what is this book? It's pretty have? much a coffee book. Coffee yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like just one page and here's a here's a cover and here's a story. Yeah. Me too. Fuck it. 
Yeah. He's pissed. He's pissed. He's pissed. He's, he's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. I know. Yeah. He's, he's salvy pissed. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking furious. <laughs> yeah. I already know. Hey, props to him. Whatever. <laughs> uh, there's another Kickstarter I want to give a shout out. It's a video game. Let me see. I want to get their name right because I want to be a complete jackass. Which I am right. It's called um, Player Score, a video game music documentary. Um, it's a Kickstarter they're doing. Uh, they want to pretty much pay for their documentary. Right. <laughs> um, uh, so they, they can go and go to Japan and interview all these cool composers from the heydays that we grew up listening, like Mega Man, Castlevania. Metal Gear, they are trying to get the guy. What about the Resident Evil guy that didn't really do it? <laughs> oh, that's uh, fucked up. Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. And then some chiptune artists that we know here, and they trying to local, yeah, local LA people. And What's the lowest you're asking? <laughs> oh, it's not that much. Five bucks. Uh, I think. What the whole Kickstarter? <laughs> no, wow, no, I don't think so. No, you know it goes, it goes, but like you know, you get this, your name goes on it. Oh, twenty bucks, you get the the DVD. Oh, nice. That's not bad. Okay. Let's go. If you want to, yeah. can we go? Japan? No. <laughs> Far game night. Let's <laughs> right. go to Japan. Um, so yeah, they, they they're doing okay, but just go check out those two before fucking Wilbur got mad at the whole family. <laughs> <conference. laughs> Which I'm gonna edit out most likely because it took forever to explain to him what the <laughs> yeah. fuck am I buying? Hey man, we're here to inform the people. Okay. Not just, two just, sides. just not to be. Wilbur, well, please put the gun down. <laughs> <laughs> put the gun right I now. Right now. Right now. I am holding the gun right now. What I'm saying is like that's what we're in for. Once again, the inside is where a podcast is for. Is it inside? Yeah, it's inside. The inside. Like, we're the new e entertainment. Yeah, you know, you know, you inside see, school, Carlos. Come on, man. Yeah. You say you're gonna get this book. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, you're gonna get this book by. No, you're gonna get this book because of this, man. You know, or you're not gonna get this book because of this. Yeah, Carlos. Come on, man. You got fans. You gotta. Yeah. Don't. All twelve of them. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we're done for this show. We have a lot of things we want to do. A lot of videos you should see soon. Hopefully, Power Morphin Con. <clears throat> well, which I am excited for. Twenty sixteen. No, the video. Oh, which I am excited for. I remember <laughs> Kar- <laughs> you gotta do Karina's fifteen video. Oh, which I am excited for. <laughs> uh, my that was sister- how many years ago? Four years <laughs> my ago. My sister's wedding. Wow. Which I am excited for. <laughs> Wow! Don't yeah. ever have them film you. Why do you have to bring time. that up, man? I mean, <laughs> man, yeah, guys, you're excited for something, man. That's true. Um, yeah, I guess we should wrap this up. One promoting, go. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter uh, at the King of Mars. Uh, you can read my ramblings and my reviews on Geekscape.net for now. Shout out to Jonathan London. Yeah, great guy. Homie. I have an interview with the Power Rangers and an interview with Hornswoggle from WWE about Leprechaun Origins that I'm posting next week. <laughs> Hornswoggle? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sounds yeah. like a porn move. <laughs> Hornswoggle. What is that? You don't want to know. <laughs> Only 10 people survive. <laughs> um, anything else? Um, uh, and uh, if you're going to test in high school, um, I'll be your new teacher over there. You know, you know what we're just doing? Yeah, I taught his sister. Protege. Yep. She's still having grammar issues. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta put him on the spot, dude. Hey, it takes more than a year, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, look at us. What did you misspell today? Where we're like laughing? I forgot. What it I forgot. It was something so simple. He, I know it was mom. He oh no, mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Uh, it was something on the Wheel of Fortune. You- Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I love the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, I love <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Carlos had a stroke earlier today. <laughs> That's <laughs> my favorite shirt. Like all the other man. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, we, we grew up with a really shitty high school. Yeah, so man. That's for sure. Uh, shout out to Man Your Arts High School for. Making sure that we failed completely. On <laughs> what a piece of shit! On this I know somewhere. that's a piece. No, of real school. quick, what a piece of, of shit, shit school. Hey man, the name of the game is drugs, bro. Yeah, yeah, sure, man. Man. <laughs> hey, <the> heroin is. <laughs> um, Don't I, go legit. Is what we're saying. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna sell drugs. Yeah, you can follow us on YouTube. YouTube.com backdash Eggman's one one. You can also follow us on Twitter, Angry Bananas. You can also follow us on Facebook. Oh, we just, we just, I fought the law and the law won. I went to Facebook, I hit him up, I said, hey, I want our Facebook to say, not Angry Bananas 101. I want it to say, Angry Bananas. And they did it. 
Yeah. So now we type in you Facebook. Won. You said, I won. You said I fought the law and the law won. Yeah, you said oh, the law won. I was like, what happened? He's pointing a gun and I'm scared, dude. Shout outs to Manual Arts for... <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we won. I, I won. We, yeah, we got Angry Bananas. Somebody else was using Angry Bananas. Okay. Was it I, a band? Huh? Was it a band? It was a band yeah. using, using our Facebook name. Yeah, so on YouTube. We, yeah. we, uh, I sent them an email saying, look, all this is just shit we're doing. All right, cool. And then now they're like, you can change it now. So what did you hit up exactly? Like how did, I how did, did help center. Up? I did the help center, and oh. then I put that I was a page that wanted to be authenticated. Oh, shit. So I went through the process. It was. It took forever. Like I just got the email this week, and they're like, "Oh, now you can change the the angry bananas one to angry bananas." And I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now when you put in www.facebook.com backdash angry bananas, straight to our Facebook page. And Fight then, for your rights, people. Yeah, Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram. We post dumb shit on there. Yeah. Um, You're telling them why follow us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it's cool, funny pictures. Angry Bananas underscore. That's it. Go in there. Uh, you can follow me. Oh, don't follow me. No, I don't want to put that. Go, go. Uh, you can follow me can over play- to go at um, pornhub.com. <laughs> <laughs> play with him on uh, Xbox Sorrow Zero Zero. Oh, my God. <laughs> Facebook, well, man, that's it. Don't follow me. Don't nothing. You want to probably message me for, you know, anything, man. Go into some shit. Do some counseling. You know? That was more for the ladies. Incident. You had an incident that long ago, nigga. I did. <laughs> annoying person. Uh, annoying person. There's a lot of them. <laughs> like incident. What do you mean? Never mind. You want to put something in blast? Throw on blast, man. We're Chris. closing out. This, we're closing Chris. out, man. Chris. Which Chris? Oh, Chris. Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody hates Chris. Yeah, everybody hates Chris. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, shout out to you. Hope everything's well, you know? Stop acting like a bitch and, you know? Yeah. Do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Jared, where think people can follow you or your antics? Uh, yeah, you can follow me at Jared R. Monjaras at Facebook. You had to put that. I was going to just say <laughs> Oh, shit. Scratch that. <laughs> uh, social security is... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, again, I just post stupid shit you want to waste five minutes of your life that you want back to follow me check what I gotta say uh, with that being said guys thank you for listening uh, hopefully we didn't talk your ass out too much Nintendo. if you want I'll put something in the description so you can skip out on the Nintendo talk um, but guys thank you so much we'll be back in two weeks hopefully if we're not doing anything stupid again Juan are you gonna be back? I will are you? promise? I will okay. I'm never leaving <laughs> You're stuck. Just thought, just thought, just thought. Um, oh, shout out to Loot Crate for the new box. That's just fucking tight. Yes, it is. That shit is tight. I've seen it. I've seen that. I, I was like, it. damn, every once in a while, they come out with a good ass it's one. Pretty awesome. It's I worth think, the, I think it's, it's one of the best. It's, it's one, one of the best, best yeah, yeah. One of the best. I think one it's best. I think it's more that's in there than what I paid for. Yeah, for sure. So definitely check them out. Loot Crate's stepping up their shit. And exclusives. And exclusives. Yeah. I'm kinda I'm kinda happy I got that. Because yeah. I'm like, hmm. And I got my Loot Crate membership card. You can flip it. Oh. That's the word of the day. You flip, flip it. Flip it. It ain't no kick flip. You gotta <laughs> flip it. And we're not talking about ex-girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I <laughs> <laughs> you can flick her off. <laughs> you want to. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you... I don't know. Two weeks? Three weeks in a month? Two oh, weeks? Man. Whatever. Before Smash or after Smash? Before Smash. Oh, okay.